It's a narrative exploration game set in Montreal. Um, you are a painter who's moved to the city for the summer. Um, and you uh, moved into this apartment unfurnished. It's supposed to be furnished, but that, it's fine. Um, you moved into this apartment um, for the summertime, and you're just trying to make it as an artist. You were a watercolor artist, um, so you can take commissions and make different paintings to meet different requirements or you can just free paint and then there's a cafe where you can list your paintings um and maybe make some money for them there's different quests and stuff like that um recently we met a sort of art connoisseur in the cafe who saw our paintings and was like oh my god you're gonna you're like the next big artist i'm convinced and told us to meet her in a I don't remember the word. I could probably just go into the quest thing. But like a like a a group of the commune. There that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. So the woman from the cafe made her in the artist's commune by the railroad, which last stream I did start navigating to. And I didn't quite get all the way there because it was kind of a maze. Um, but I didn't make it all the way there before the day ended and then I was finished playing with the day for the day. Um so yeah <laughs> that's um that's uh that that's what we've been up to essentially um so yeah fun thing that happened when brushing him when using a certain brush and rubbing it uh in his withers area um he does the same exact thing that my old horse mystery does oh i get you like a little sort of reaction that they that they both do that's similar that makes sense this bottle is like so flimsy now that it's lost a lot of liquid I'm sorry, this whole- I don't drink sports drinks, so the whole process is new to me. Like, it's just- it's weird. It's like a waterbed. <laughs> me discovering sports drinks. Oh. Oh. I've left bed and worked on satiation cycle. Hell yeah, TB. You can open the cap and it should go back to normal. I did- oh, open it like- like, let the air in, you mean? But I kind of like it like this, though. <laughs> Hi, Bosh. Welcome in. Good morning to you as well. Uh, <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to, like, not like other girls or anything. Like, I don't do sports drinks. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to do promise. <laughs> but I just, I just don't, don't generally do sports drinks. You know? And the water bottles don't do this. <laughs> I make you giggle? I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the gist of the thing. We picked up different, um, requests from people who have different, um, different, uh, commissions for us to make. The way that the, <laughs> like, um, you make yourself feel, well, that's good, Bosh. This looks big cute. This is Ete. It's, it's, it's a really good, I'm really enjoying it so far. I played the demo as well. I really loved it. Um, there should be a link to the Steam page in the pinned message. Um, it's really good. Here, I'll, I'll walk around a little bit and show you. But yeah, everything's done in, like, a cool watercolor style. Um, so the way that you discover items to use in your paintings is as you're exploring the world, um, you'll notice that some things aren't colored in. So when you uh, find a new item, you can sort of, um, you basically, like, click and hold to color stuff in. As you color stuff in, you get these droplets, but you also, uh, that's how you uncover items. Uh, to sort of use them and unlock them as a reference uh, to then use in paint. Menu is very pretty. I agree. I really like the gold and black. Um, so uh, real quick, I'll explain what we're going to do next, though, because I remembered one of our quests was to earn, yeah, earn 400 bucks so that we could buy a bicycle so that we could travel around easier. I don't know exactly how that, how the traveling around it is implemented in the game, but I suspect in some way, it will make travel easier, so I am going to go do that first. Um, because we have the money, we have like 1200 bucks, uh, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm in the process of getting dressed, I bent my pinky finger back, and it hurts. Oh man, I hate that, TD. I'm so sorry. Not even sure how you did it. Damn. The reaction is that his lip quivers, uh, neck leans in the direction of the scratches, and Jerry leans into the brush. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> Thanks, Bosh. <laughs> Got him. Uh, so I think this is the way. Is this where the bike shop was? Yeah, I think so. So there's a few different locations, um, uh, that we just came from the apartment, 
uh, location, basically. So there's, yeah, there's like a market, there's a park, there's like down by the railroad tracks, which is where the artist commune is, um, stuff like that. Um, I've never been to Montreal, but it, it gives very sort of like summertime in the city, like community vibes. Um, so yeah, and there are different things that you can buy. So this little, this little uh, like box floating above it basically means that we can, uh, we could buy it. I am going to buy some stuff. So these are not for... Hi, Pink. How are you doing, friend? Welcome in. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Um, I'll be kind of in and out. I'm on a big level design grind for a game I'm working on. Ooh, heck yeah, Bosh. I hope it goes well. And also, no worries. No worries. We love the lurkers. We're a very lurk-friendly community over here. I'm constantly, like, lurking in other people's streams. Especially, like, work lurking. So I totally feel you. I hope we can be some uh, productive company for you. Um, so yeah, the things that you buy are not for consumption, they're for decorating. Um, Montreal in the summer is wonderful. Oh my gosh. It is, I, I, I don't know how accurate this is to Montreal specifically. I believe the dev team is based in and around Quebec, I believe. Don't quote me on that though. So, I, but I, but I believe that they really tried to capture the vibe of Montreal in the summer. So... Hopefully this is like a, a na you know, it really captures it. Um, I believe that though. I'd like to go someday. I've like, I've only been to like one place in Canada other than some airports, but those don't count. I've only been to one place in Canada. I really like to see more of it um, someday. Day is okay. Getting ready for work. Nice pink. I'm glad your guys' day is going okay so far. And I hope that work treats you kindly um, and all that. Also applied for a job at a bookstore that I love. Nice, Percy. Fingers crossed for you. Um, the things we buy aren't for consumption. <laughs> like, you were trying hard enough. <laughs> I mean, listen, if I could, like, look at these tasty watercolored baguettes. I would love. I would love to try. Um, but yeah, so they, um, they are used to decorate the apartment. Like I said, the apartment we move into is supposed to be furnished, and then when we get there, it has, like, a bed, and that's it. Um, there is a whole thing where you can, like, buy furniture, uh, for the apartment. I haven't really put a whole lot of time and energy into decorating the apartment just yet. Um, I've bought some, like, little things here and there, but I haven't really been focusing on it too much. I, yeah, I realize I'm saying that as I'm buying a lot of different uh, stuff, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, some jars. Jam jar. Jam jar. Jam jar, jam jar, but they're all different colors. So this is the furniture store. Um, so I've got some stuff like reserved. You can see the little lock. I've just walked in. You can see the little lock icon. That's something that I've like reserved because otherwise the furniture changes each day. Um, does like a little refresh. But if you want to keep something and come back and buy it later, you can uh, you can put a little lock on it. What is that? Oh, curtains. Ah. Do I want some curtains? I might do. I might do. Um, a stove hood. Uh, I don't know what the situation of the stove is like, but I might want a stove hood. Hanging... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I've already got one of these reserved, a clothes rack, so I don't think I need two. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Uh, I might want that. Hello! This is the person who rented us the apartment, who also happens to run the, the furniture store. It's a little bit sus. Oh, a washing machine. I might want that. I'm not spending my money right now. I could probably afford most of these things, but okay. Actually, I should. I should. I can buy some of this stuff. I gotta go buy this toaster. I'm gonna forget the stuff that I have, though. Oh, that's a nice rug, actually. I'm gonna get it. <gasps> a teapot. I'm a sucker for a teapot. Did you know that? I don't make tea in a teapot, but I really like a teapot. <laughs> okay, I'm not buying any more stuff. Teapot, yes, they're so cute. I love a teapot. Fun fact about me. So yeah, like I said, when we color stuff in in the world, we get these little droplets. Um, you can use the droplets to charge up your abilities. Um, oh, here's the bike person. Oh, hey. what do we got? Some cans? Oh, a top. Oh, a candy apple. I was gonna call it a toffee. Yeah. Make tea and teapot, and they drink loosely. <gasps> do you have like a really cute teapot? I love teapots, but I can't really justify getting one because, I, like I said, I, I don't make tea using... I, I have tea bags, so... I even use tea bags in a teapot, actually, but I only ever have, like, one cup at a time. But if I had a teapot, it would be 
for it would be a decorative one probably but i just i don't know something about them they're just so cute i really love it i, I like teapots fun facts about me hello fabien oh i i oh i can't okay i, I can't i don't know how to pronounce i can't okay what can i do for you i've been thinking about the bike yes i can't speak french 400 for everything you need. Yes. Could I trade you for a painting? Was that an option the whole time? It's green. Oh my god, cute. Could I? No, I'm just gonna... Because, uh, you know, it's... I have the money and also, you know... Until this moment, you scraped along the ground like a rat. So true. But now you soar like an eagle with a crankshaft and cassette. <laughs> Though while you're getting started, it's good to stick to a bike path and watch your speed. If you do go on the road, really take your space. You don't want to risk getting dorked. Okay, and I got a bike helmet. And when you lock up, make sure you put it through the frame and the wheel or else something is getting stolen. Okay. I got a bike lock. Do I have to actually... Hang on. Click on your bike at a bike rack to fast travel to any other discovered bike rack. I wondered how they were going to do it as a travel mechanic. Okay. And then I can buy another bike lock and helmet is that because something can happen to the bike i hope not i hope not um all oh right so i was saying yeah that the the droplets charge up your um your basically uh your ability to do one big blast of color um and discover stuff kind of in one here just i can do one actually like that so the droplets charge charge up. Oh, there's a door over here that I can go to now. Okay, okay, so I can buy... Now, are these decorative items? Are these decorative, do we think? Maybe. What can I do for you? Oh, I just wanted to say hi. Okay. Cool. Okay, so... Click, so... But is my bike only at this bike rack for now? Or if I went to another bike rack, would my bike be there instead? Okay, interesting. But I'm also going to go through here because I, um... Oh. Oh, this is the back door at the, ho at the hotel. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, but it's locked. All right, okay. All right, but I haven't discovered any other bike racks yet, so I don't. Oh, I have discovered other bike racks? I just didn't know? So I haven't discovered any in the railroad, which is where I want to go next. So, d okay. Should I just go... I, d uh, I don't remember if I can get there from here. It looks like I might be able to get to the railroad from here, but I don't remember the way. Oh, is it that one? Um. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is Ete. Um, we have a local cafe here that has a bunch of different teapot and mug sets. Those little one-person ones where the teapot sits on top of a mug. Oh my god, I love those. Those are so cool. Um, that sounds delightful. I, 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 I believe it. Oh, I could get a map. Do I want a map? A sweater? I love a sweater. Now, should I be spending my money on all this stuff right now? Probably not. Like I was saying earlier when I said I hadn't been prioritizing the decor. Um, oh, yeah, sometimes it jumps a little bit as the time changes over to a different time of day, but that's okay. So, okay, is this the way to the railroad? No, that's the park. How do I get to the railroad? It looks like I can get there from here. Yeah, bike rack. No, I know. Uh, okay, but I can fast travel from the map menu. That's good to know. Because I just pressed M for map. But it looks like I can get there from here. If the location's on the thing or anything to go by, but they might not be. But I, yeah, I, I have been there before. I just don't remember the way. Oh. Do I want some fried chickpea balls? Uh, I'm okay, thank you, but thank you for offering. Okay, no, this is this building, so I can't... Okay, uh... I don't remember. That's where I came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay, so... Maybe... No. 
This is the edge. And this is some eggs. This is the cafe. Can you not get there from the... Maybe you... Oh, maybe you can't. Okay, well, let's go through the park then. Oh! Tangy. I know that this is again about summertime and I'm like in a thick sweater, but <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. Um. Oh, that scared me. I think that was the bottle making a sound as it adjusted, but I thought it was like the dog or something. Okay, actually, we should just use a color drop to fill some of this in. Because it's pretty empty. This is a park, but you can't because none of it's colored in. Oh, there's a group of people there. Hello. Oh, I'd rather be playing chess. You can be. No one's stopping you. So at a certain time of day, there was someone out there. I think it was evening. Stuff ch At different times of day, there's different people in different stuff going on. Um... But I'm trying to get to the railroad, but I don't remember the way. <laughs> Was it over here or something? I don't know. It's like this yeet. Wait, no, this isn't a path. This is a dead end. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> uh, this is all very not colored also. Should we color some of this in? So you can see the little petals are the number of charges that we have for that. Um... What a day so many meetings! Oh my gosh, can I meet and be here for maybe five minutes or so before the next one? Game is very foggy, it's a fun style. Yeah, it's done in like watercolor, which makes sense because we're like a watercolor artist. I think it's done really well. And everything's like not colored in right away. Um, so it's cool that you can sort of like discover the city by coloring everything in. It's really cool. Also, I hope that your meetings are going okay. Um, I'm sorry that you got a lot on your plate today. Hopefully you can uh, sort of Take it easy, like none of your meetings are like too taxing or anything. Um, is that the railroad? That looks like it might be the railroad, right? Maybe? No, that's the neighborhood. Dang it. <sighs> Dang it to heck. Dang it. I Now, I was in the park, I was exploring the park a bit. And the park was much bigger than I thought it was, because I ended up in like a whole bunch of different bits that I did not know were a thing. Um, but I think there is an entrance to the railroad from the park. It's just not here. How do I get into this playground? Oh, in here. Oh, we should color in these little pegs. Cute! The units are not the biggest thing today. They're time-consuming, but they're going okay. That's something good, at least. Well, the, yeah, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I don't do a job where I have meetings, um, but when I have done jobs, I, I know that meetings can often be very tedious. I mean, there's the reason that there's a whole, like, big recurring theme of, like, this could have been an email. Um, because a lot of times, that is, that is the case. So, I love your outfit. It's very, like, themed and put together. I love that for you. Um, so yeah, so this is Ete. Like I said, it released, um, uh, July 20-something. July 23rd, maybe? Um, so right in the middle of summer, which makes sense, because like I said, it's set in the summertime. It's a summer-based game. It's a mean summer, I'm led to believe. I don't speak French, but I'm I'm led to believe that that's, that's what it means. I've been quoting it, so hopefully that's the case. I should probably fact-check that. No, I have looked it up, actually, at some point. No, I did look it up. I did look it up. Um... Partly so that I could get the Google Translate thing to pronounce it for me. Because, uh, as I've said, I don't speak French. Um, but yeah. So yeah, there's lots of different stuff. There's a little communal garden in the park. There's this, like, water water fountain bit. Um, I'd love to go to Montreal one day, actually. In the summertime. And now I'd have to bring my dog, which I don't know how he'd do with all that. But... Okay, I haven't even gotten back to the railroad, and it's the afternoon already. Uh, also, who just left their stroller there? Strollers are ex expensive, aren't they? I'm led to believe. Oh my god! 
another one. I mean, presumably they're just putting them... Oh, a commission. Presumably they're just putting them there to, like, fill out the scenery a little bit more, but, like... Would you just leave your stroller, you know? This is because you don't like the nobility, isn't it? It's classist. Mm -hmm. No, I... Well, sure, if that will get you to leave me alone. <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I demand you make amends or I'll leave you a very unbecoming review. Uh-oh. This guy doesn't seem to understand what a caricature is. I, I, I feel that's, yeah, that's that's definitely happened in real life. I have recently found out that I am of the lineage of an exceedingly important minor note. <laughs> I thought it was only right I come have my portrait done for posterity. Totally, totally with your Reginald. I didn't want much, just something in the style of a uh, Rigo. Re I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Or a Gainsborough, maybe. I assume those are famous portraiture artists. I'm a caricaturist. Even if I had the equipment or the time or the desire, I'm the wrong person for the job. Totally with you, Jade. I understand why Reginald wants a portrait, but also I'm on Jade's side. But do you not promise to capture the very essence of your subjects? Yeah, in little fun cartoons done in under 10 minutes. Can't you make an exception for me? I could probably do it. I don't mean to poach customers from Jade, but also it seems like Jade wants nothing to do with Reginald, so... Uh, I don't know. I had considered an unknown. I was hoping for an artist who already commanded a public presence. Fame doesn't guarantee a good painting. Oh no, that's gonna dunk on Jade. I don't want... That feels like more of a dunk on... I'm gonna say I'm very well known. Yeah. Cause they, I mean, I don't think it's intended to, to dunk on Jade, but I, it kind of felt like it was. Uh, exactly. You don't know who this is? Should I? I just assumed someone of your uh, social standing would recognize Montreal's finest portraitist. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my resume. Montreal's finest portraitist. Maybe you don't deserve to stand for her after all. No, I do. I'm just not wearing my glasses today, or else I would have recognized her right away. <laughs> Please paint me. <laughs> Please, it's very simple. I just want me with a crown and a scepter standing in front of a throne. Oh, I have all those things, Sir Reginald. <laughs> uh, I have I've found all those things at some point, apparently, so that's nice. A man by the statue is trying to get a caricature artist to paint him like nobility in a traditional portrait. He doesn't understand the meaning of the word no, so he probably does have some aristocratic blood. I agree to do it for him instead. <laughs> the lighting in front of this tent is excellent, so perhaps I'll just pose here until you finish. Okay. Can't you go somewhere else? Of course not. How would the portraitist know where to find me? I mean, okay. Let's get the little... Let's fill in the little tent. Oh, it's so cute. I, I, I feel that that has happened IRL with, like, actual caricaturists. Where, like, someone's gotten... Someone's requested a, a portrait and not understanding... Or understanding, but, you know, choosing to be willfully ignorant uh, of what a caricaturist is. Um, and then, like, you know, they're like, well, what the hell is this? And it's like, you requested a caricature, my dude. I'm a caricaturist. I do caricatures. Oh, why can't I? Oh, that was weird. I was trying to press the thing. Maybe it was because I was moving? No, you can do it while you're moving. I was trying to press and hold the click to do the... Um, filling in the colors, and it, uh, it wasn't, uh, going. Oh, I missed all these. Give me my droplets. Um, num, 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 tasty. Oh, there's a pigment down there. Oh, but I can't jump. I don't know how to get over there. The character can't jump. <laughs> how do I get over there? I have to go... Okay, I'll, I'll do it another time. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's fine. Those, those floating pigments are how you unlock new colors to paint with. So when you start the game... Um, the initial character, like, for in the sort of tutorial bit, asks you your favorite color, um, and that's how you get, you unlock your first color, uh, to use in paintings. Uh, so you get that one for free, but then after that, you need to find pigments throughout the world, um, and when you find three pigments, you can then, at your mixing station, you can unlock a new color. Um, so when you're putting things into a painting, um, I will do a painting at some point in this stream, by the way, but I'm just, I'll explain it now. Uh, when you're doing a painting, if you pull in an item as a reference. So say, for example, I pulled in these these birds, these pigeons, they would be... I didn't mean to sit on the bench. Um, they would be the color that they are uh, in the in the overworld. Um, but then I also could use a color, one of the colors I've unlocked, to paint them as a different color. So they aren't in black and white by default, they're just the color that they are naturally um, when you find them. And then if you want to change their color to something else, that's when you need to have pigments unlocked. I've gone in a circle and I haven't found the entrance to the railroad. Is there not an entrance to the railroad here? I could have sworn there was. 
well, at this rate, I'm not going to make it to the railroad today either. But do you know what? Tomorrow, in-game, we're just going to go from a different location. I'm going to go from the neighborhood and try and get... The neighborhood is the name of another location. I'm going to try and... <laughs> Wait, so... Okay, well, if I'm not going to do that, maybe I'll go... Oh, there's a pigment there. Wait, why have I never seen this fountain and stuff before? One of my, um, only complaints, if you can even really call it a complaint, but one of my only sort of qualms is that because everything starts out as, like, completely white, um, you, it's kind of hard to see stuff. <laughs> um, and then, like, if you can't tell, everything looks the same when it's all white. Um... Yeah, everything looks the same when it's all done in white, so... Uh, it's- it's kind of hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Oh, look, a fish! Um, that's my only sort of, like... Point, I suppose. Um, which, like, you know, in that sense it does kind of promote you filling things in and exploring. Um, but also, it does kind of make it hard sometimes. Um, so, just something to keep in mind. Hello? Oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I, I saw this person once before, but I couldn't, um, uh, I didn't make it over here in time before they went away. I'm not sure how to pronounce this also. I'm gonna pronounce it like wish, wish, wish. I'm not sure. Um, uh, sorry, was I in your way? Not really, I'm just frustrated with my painting and you looked like you wouldn't mind being killed. Oh, totally, totally valid. I feel that. What do you normally paint? Lately, I've been working on landscapes. Um, uh, I'm gonna say Montreal inspires me too, because I've kind of been painting a bunch of different stuff. Montreal? No, I'm painting. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Tio, Tiake? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I don't. I don't know why there's a colon in it either. But this city was built on stolen land. I like to use my painting to see alternatives. What? Yes, I'm gonna ask what it is. I don't know. That's the name for this place in. Canyon Keha, my nation's language. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that, and I apologize. Um, where are the Canyon Keha Ka? You probably know us better as Mohawk. Okay, so does that mean Montreal is just built on top of Teotiake? Could I just use my brush to wipe it away? Mm. No, this country has had enough painters trying to erase what's right in front of them. I need something different. I don't think the group of seven is taking applications anyway. Who's the group of seven? You must not be a local if you're at- I mean, I'm not a local, that's true. <laughs> there, they were seven painters who went into a big park named after the people it was stolen from. <laughs> who then made beautiful paintings that convinced Canada it was empty all along. Interesting. Is that why you're painting a park? I want my brush to imagine a future where our sovereignty is restored. What would it look like if we could take care of the land and let it take care of us in return, even in a city park? People might not be so scared of land back if they can see where they fit in. Is land back, like, returning land to the indigenous communities? I'm not familiar with land back, but just from the name, I'm gonna assume that's kind of what it is. Um, and from the context. Um, it should be easy here. This park has been changed constantly to match the desires of new generations. It's been a farm, a military training ground, a terrible zoo, a children's wonderland. What do you think is important here? Um, it seems like it's a place for everybody, I would say. The more I look, the more I see all the people it's excluding. Why don't you paint me your landscape? Seeing your park might help me see mine. It should have a few core features. The mountain, a few types of trees, and whatever else seems important to you. Don't bother trying to make a perfect replica. Just be mindful of what you're including and what that means. Oh, yeah, I don't know where the mountain is in the park. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to find it at some point. Okay. No idea where the mountain is. Can I walk out here? No. Okay. So I wonder how I get the mountain. Is it in your painting? I don't think so. No. Um. Yeah, I'm not super... I say super knowledgeable. I'm not knowledgeable at all, at all on, um... Uh, the names of different indigenous communities and the... All of, all of that sort of... Um... All of that sort of stuff. 
Um, it's probably something that I should educate myself more on. Um, like that, that, that name or right off the bat might have been familiar to uh, people who were more knowledgeable on it. Um, whereas I was completely uh, unaware. I thought that I entered the railroad from the park, but maybe I didn't. I was at least trying to get to the railroad enough to unlock the unlock the bike rack, but I've just been blindly wandering around. Oh, you have a commission for me. Hello. Bonjour. Uh, have a seat. Don't be embarrassed. There's a reason public benches are big enough for two. I find this is the most beautiful corner of the city. And you, t and you. Tell me, what brings you to the park? Um, uh, well, I was actually, I was genuinely, oh, we're in an ad break, we're in an ad break. Uh, oh, I don't know if time is paused when I'm in this dialogue, so I am going to finish the dialogue real quick. Um, I'm I was going to say I'm just passing through. You did well to stop then. Too often people are just passing by. Things happen by themselves. They don't need our help. Uh, I come here every evening to enjoy the light. It took retirement from me. It took retirement for me to realize how many sunsets I've missed over the years, capturing some lost time in my own way. After all, my final sunset will come soon enough. Uh, you still have lots of sunsets left. Maybe, or maybe not. It doesn't matter. Sunsets are beautiful precisely because they herald the night. Just like summer is beautiful because it punctuates winter. It's sometimes sad that all good things must end, but that's wrong. Things are good because they have an end. Life borrows its beauty from death. Time only restores things. It's good to be reminded of that. A memento mori. Exactly. The art of remembering death. You're a painter, aren't you? How did you know that? <laughs> yeah. You have an artist's soul. Oh, okay. Well, I have an artist's soul. It's obvious. Plus, not everyone knows the term memento mori. Okay, yeah, that, yeah that's fair, that's fair. Also, that'll flex a paint on your clothing. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Why don't you paint your own memento mori? I would be curious to see what that inspires. Okay. And I've got the subjects time, life, and death. I don't know where from. All right. Um, I'll pause now because the answer. To be fair, I'd enjoy going to find something enjoying a nice park instead. Yeah, yeah. Um... I love little pockets of nature like that are that are unexpected. Um, so, okay, but Final Sunset is a great indie band name. It is actually, yeah, yeah. Um, so I have to paint my own memento mori. I'm actually gonna while the ad is running. I'm actually just gonna really quick look up like more specifically like what that because like I know what the it, like a reminder of death is what the what it means in Latin. I think remember to die okay well you know but i want like okay if i go to like images these are like pictures of skulls and oh this is like um the two fingers touching but one of them is a skull it's a person's tattoo but um it's like the the two fingers and one of them is a skull a skeleton it's not a skull that's the head <laughs> sometimes skull and skeleton have become a little bit like synonymous in my head which they're not obviously the skull is the specific head part <laughs> but yeah so it's like a skeleton hand and then a, a more fleshed hand <laughs> um and then it says momentum more um more more fleshed you know uh oh i will hydrate thank you oreo uh i'll have some water actually um just spilled my hot chocolate in bed no skeleton yeah fleshed hand well because i can't i can only see the hand i can't i don't know if it's alive or not <laughs> My assumption is that it would be alive because it's life and death. But from the picture, it's just a hand. I can't, I can't tell whether it's alive or not. But I can tell that it is covered in flesh. <laughs> I'm just going off of the information presented to me. You know. You know what they say when you assume. Not a normal hand. Well, it is a normal hand. You know, normal by our standards, at least. Not normal for a skeleton. But yes, I also hope you didn't get scolded. Um, and also hope that it's not like too much of a mess or anything for you to clean up. Now I gotta change my bed sheets. Oh man, I hate that. That's the worst when you've like just changed them. I absolutely hated that. I um gonna go to bed four hours of sleep last night. Oh, and I just feel run down. Absolutely, Percy. That makes a lot of sense. Good on you for um for taking care of yourself now. Um, and catching up on your rest. I hope that you sleep well. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope everything goes smoothly um, with your horses as well. Um, 
And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, they were due for a change anyway. Okay, that's not too bad. Because yeah, what, what happened to me one time in university, um, I only had one set of bed sheets, And so when it was time to wash them, they would just be washed and dried and then put back on the bed. Like I had to do it like all in one day. Um, and I was very lazy and I didn't have a lot of time on my hands. So I didn't do it that off as often as I should probably. But what one time I had like just changed them over and like that night, I spilled like a whole glass of juice on my bed and I was I was like so uh I was so frustrated that I had done it that I just I didn't wash the bed sheets again I like mopped it all up as best I could but then I just like left it because I was like I just did the whole thing like of washing them I I can't can't be fucked to do it again so I just like did the best to like mop it up and just like left it <laughs> Uh, and I'm talking like it was like a whole glass of juice. Teacher Haley will scold you instead. <laughs> Pick the cup up too quickly. I yeah, that makes sense. I get you. I get you. Oh, I heard the air that time. Like I said, I've got like my lipstick on a teeny tiny bit. That's okay. I have only two sets of sheets that fit my bed, so when I change them, uh, I have one only one other set to put on it. The rest of the sheets are from when I was four. I think I got a uh, Dora Duna cover in there. What's Duna? Um, but that's fair. Actually, we're probably due to change. We should probably do our sheets. Let me, I'm going to check the, I'm just going to real quick check the energy prices for today versus tomorrow. Um, just to see if we should put the laundry on today. Have you worked out how sports people telling the sports drinks now i think they just don't think about it and they just and then it's fine you see you sometimes see them in like um media where they like are doing it from here and they like they like squeeze it into their mouths i don't have the confidence for that also i'm in my office not outside so if i spilled it it would make a mess so i'm not gonna do that but they i think they just do it with more confidence oh it's more expensive tomorrow than it is today okay so we should put it on today that's Top like a thing. Duvet, duvet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you, got you. Do you call it Duna down there? I've never heard that before. Uh, yeah, yeah, we call it a duvet. How's that for confidence? Thanks, Demon Ted. I appreciate it. I'm still not gonna do it away from my mouth, because I'll make a mess, and then it'll be, uh, liquid everywhere, which is not good. Me doing it with more confidence is, is working, though. <laughs> so... Um, all right. Oh. Oh my god. It was like squeaking. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, all right. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. Thank you for sticking through the ads. Um, it helps me out. It helps out people coming into the stream, um, so they don't get pre-roll ads. Um, and it helps, it helps you in a way because it means that Twitch doesn't give you ads at random points, uh, if I do schedule it. So. I surprised everyone, I, when, uh, found out everyone doesn't call it a Duna. Also your money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that emote. Smokey's little, like, is it called Stomp, technically? What's it? Oh, Step. There you go. I'll try to remember the name. So cute. Duvet would also be a good name for a band. A cover band. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I have a fake ban command, like exclamation mark ban. Ban Chan. I might do. Yeah. I was gonna say I've written a lot of fake ban commands in like other people's channels across across my days. So a band band. <laughs> yeah. Controversial. It is a recent addition. Yeah. I, yeah, I felt like it might be. Um, I feel like for a while I, I maybe didn't have one, but I mean now I now I do. So there we go, there we go. Cause I was like I've added them in other people's like, but um, yeah. So I don't know how to get to this fountain because I don't have a boat. Maybe I have to come at certain times of day, and I can get over there. Like something will be in place for me to like step on and get to it. Oh no, I can just pick it. <laughs> I can just pick it up. I have a lot, actually, yeah, 10 out of 3, so I've got enough for 3 new colors. I just haven't been back to mix paints. I could have sworn I got to the thing from here. But it seems I didn't. 
Or maybe I... Oh, is it there? No. That's... Maybe? No. This the name. That's the... That's the market. That's where I came from. Oh my god, there's, um... Oh, I don't remember their name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Theo. Or Teo. Um... Hi, Haley. I'm so into playing, I didn't see you. Um, what should I do while in Montreal? <laughs> you need to go to the drum circle by the statue. I've seen the drum circle by the statue. It's always so chill there, and people are just vibing and playing whatever they feel like. Bum bum. Oh, bam bam. Ba bam ba bam. Wow. And they're so friendly, and for some reason it's always hazy, so the light is really pretty. <laughs> I wish there was one of these pianos there so I could really get into it. I wish that for you as well. Um, you looking for any green? Uh, I'm not actually, but thank you for offering. But a reminder from Nightbot also. Thank you, Nightbot. Oh, so I'm still missing some, because one of my commissions was from a park ranger who was like... Someone's defaced all our signs. We need signs identifying all the different um, mushrooms and stuff. And so I was like, well, I'll paint you one, bestie. Um, and I need to find all the different species of mushroom in order to be able to put them into my painting. And I think I'm still missing a couple. Hang on, let me double check. Green? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, it's legal in Canada. Is it legal in all of Canada? It's certainly legal in parts of Canada. <laughs> It's legal in- it's legal. It's legal in Canada. Um... Oh. There we go, that's fine. Um... Okay. Uh... I still need to find the cannabis plant. Oh, in the railroad, right. Yeah. Uh, that's not the one I was- oh, chanterelle in the park. Yeah, okay. I gotta find the chanterelle. That's the only mushroom I'm missing. The thing is, is that they're kind of hard to see before they're colored in. All the rest of the mushrooms have kind of been, like, along this bit, though, so I kind of assume the chanterelle will be as well, you would think, given that the point of the sign is to identify nearby species. You would think that it would be nearby-ish. Relatively. Um, maybe like... No, we've already got those ones. But I don't expect them to be right next to another type. They'll be somewhere. I, I suspect. Back here? Oh, yes! Found them! Hell yeah, I did it! So now I can paint that, uh... That one. Nice. Oh! Oh my goodness. So many droplets. Hell yeah. This is where we were following that fox. We were following a fox at one point. It was um, leading us to a pigment, I think. Wait, is this how you get to the... No, I was already over here. Right? I was already over here. Wait, was I? Today? Was I already over? No, yeah, this is the- yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that's the character stand. I don't remember, I get lost. My sense of, like, spatial awareness sometimes is, like, really terrible. Uh... Like, or not spatial aware- well, I mean, my air, my in-game spatial awareness is also not very good, that's why I'm not good at platformers, but, like, my- is it sit is that situational awareness? I think that's, like, situation. I decided to just stay in color in the park until the day ends, by the way. In case you're like, Haley, you're not, like, really on the move. I gave up. <laughs> I gave up for the most part, so I'm just, uh, own stuff. I decided to just, uh, color in the park <laughs> until the day ends. Um... Oh, there's a pigment back there! Oh, how do I get- wait. How do I get over there? Okay, hang on. How do I- okay, can I go, like, this way? Is it here? Aha! Wait, I can't- what? Do I have to color it in? Why can't I get it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the day will end soon. Ah. 
Ah! Good color in this patch of grass. Oh, there was a blanket there. <gasps> Pretty. I love a picnic blanket. That's something else I'm a sucker for, is like a cute little picnic blanket set up. Love it. Love it. I don't go on enough picnics. I mean, I don't think Joey is a picnic dog, to be honest, so that's kind of part of it now, but... Yeah, here's the statue where the drum circle is sometimes, but it's not, uh, it's not the right time. Oh! Oh! There's the mountain! Oh, hell yeah! Look at me go! I'm crushing it. Look at me finding all the stuff just before the day ends. We'll love to see it. Also, if you don't collect a drop, it does stay, it does hang around, so... If I don't, uh, catch all the drops, I can, like... Can I install this and play alongside you? Oh my gosh, do you have it? <gasps> I didn't know you have it. Hell yeah. Have you played it at all before? Like, have you played any of it yet? Also, did you play the demo? Sure. If you... But hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, so... Here's our summary of the day. Monday, week two. I do. I've never played. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, so these are the quests that we've picked up, and then this is the stuff that we've, we've completed finding all the subjects so we can paint it now. Uh, yeah, we found two pigments. We spent that much money and did that stuff. Unlocked 98 stamps. I haven't been looking at any of the stamps. I don't know what that's for. Um, it always starts you back in your apartment. Um... And this is our... It does a summary at the end of the day, and then it does one at the start of the day. Um, so yeah, quest can be completed. A studio of one's own. Yeah, but that's to go meet Peggy at the commune, which I have to navigate. <laughs> quest can be completed. Still life. Oh, I just have to go turn that in. Right, 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 right. Quest can be completed. Exit through the ice cream shop. Dark afternoon of the soul. I think those were just to go to a specific place and find a specific person. This one was about a graffiti artist, I think think in the neighborhood i don't remember what that one's for and then these are all of the commissions that we have that we are able to paint so we have the stuff and then these are the ones that we you can see what it says but yeah um find the bike rack in the railroad yes i would like to do that new decorations available in the shops and it also tells you if you have paintings listed it it says like oh some of your paintings might have sold um here's our apartment um i we weren't really oh i already had an alarm clock oh shoot well now i have two well classic classic Haley. so yeah here's our little apartment um i've put a little bit of furniture down um including this bright purple chair which i'm gonna change the color of at some point um here's our little painting setup um our furniture the bed which was the only thing that came in the thing um here's the here's the bathroom and here is the kitchen um back that way is the alleyway uh which is one of the other locations as well the hot chocolate went onto my duna no oh my gosh oh there i already have a, a range hood okay um is that gonna be like a real pain in the butt to clean hopefully not so these are decorative the helmet and the bike lock it looks like and i think that whole oh i have two toasters shoot Um, I don't know where I'm gonna want all this stuff, so I'm just gonna put it here. Look, I have another toaster. Dang it! I wonder if I can sell some of this stuff back. Maybe. <laughs> I can raise them. I have two alarm clocks as well. Apparently, so. I've changed my sheet. Now it's time to spill my drink again. <laughs> Dog mask. Oh, I must have gotten given. I must have gotten given those. I don't think I would have purchased those. I've got so much stuff. Oh my god. Thankfully, I think I have... I don't think I have a limited inventory, so... That's something. Did I put stuff in the fridge? Ah! Stop. I'm trying to... Open the fridge. There we go. Oh, yeah, I have milk. Wait, no, the milk should go... In the door. Oh, no, I've opened the freezer. How do I crouch? Oh, there we go. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can crouch. Should we put... Actually, we probably shouldn't put the tomato in the fridge. We should put the cheese in the fridge. Actually, maybe we shouldn't put the cheese in the fridge. Is it an out cheese? I don't know anything about cheeses. Do you know what? It's actually, it's, I've decided it's gonna stay out. For decor. And at some point I'm gonna get like a, a bowl to put all those in. Um, at some point I'm gonna like actually commit to 
decorating, but for now I'm just accumulating stuff. Um, oh, hang on. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, how do I use the dyes? Here we go. Because you can use the dyes to color the stuff. Oh. And now I've got a blue teapot. I like this tile also. I'm a fan of a patterned tile splashback as like an accent in a kitchen. Fun fact about me. How do I see my stamps? Album? What am I getting stamps for? Oh. They mean the... The reference. The things the reference. Things I've gained as a reference. Okay. I didn't realize they were calling them stamps. They probably did refer to them as stamps at some point. But that's fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to hustle to the railroad but i want to go via the neighborhood i th think i think i could get there from the neighborhood but the way that this is laid out it makes it look like they're connected to the ones on this side because like the apartment goes to the market and the alleyway and the alleyway leads the apartment and the neighborhood the market, at least the apartment, and the park. And maybe that- but I I think that that's kind of the way that it's roughly laid out. Which makes me think that the neighborhood would not lead to the railroad. But maybe it- I'm gonna go to the room. Oh, no, the neighborhood, sorry. I'm gonna go to the neighborhood. And if there is an entrance for the railroad, then we'll go there. But I can't remember. I can't remember. We'll get there at some point. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I said I was going to do something else. Did I say I was going to do paintings or something today? I totally forgot. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> oh, well, it's fun. Um, so, yeah, so there's all different little shops that I can buy different stuff in. Um, you know, this is like a convenience store, but I can buy food, decorative items, but food ones in there and stuff like that. So, all different stuff. Maybe I can get to the railroad from here. Hang on, I'm just gonna go look at the plants that are on sale. Because I have a hanging plant basket, but these are like... These are more like sticky-uppy plants. And I kind of want like a droopy plant if they have them. I don't know. Ooh, a wagon. Classic. Classic. Yeah, these... Okay. A, what? A, oh. Why can I buy like a little lily pad? That's interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, another hanging planter. Well, maybe at some point I'll have to just suck it up and put not hanging plants in my hanging planter. We'll see. Can I go in here? No. Steam's just told me that, uh, someone's just booted up a game. Oh, this- hang on, I've just thought of something. Totally unrelated. But- um, I keep receiving a friend request on Epic Games, and it's not a username that I recognize. Um, I would just like to request that if anyone is adding me on platforms, if your username is not, like, the same, <laughs> what that was. <laughs> um, if you're adding me on a platform, if your username doesn't match your Twitch username in some way, if you just, like, send me a DM and be like, hi, that's me, um... Like, if your username is similar or the same, then I'll I'll know it's you. But, like, if, if it's a completely different username, then, like, just let me know. I don't mind being added on stuff, but I won't accept it if I don't know who it is. Um, that one could just be, like, spam or something, but I don't know. Um, but, yeah, just just as a heads up. So, if it is if it is someone that I know, then that's why I haven't accepted it. Oh, my God. Hi, cat. Oops, I crouched. I shouldn't have crouched. Hi. We have to follow the cat. The cat has fled. Oh, right. I forgot that it leads the way. Oh, I could buy a coffee table. Oh, it's free. Oh, I can. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, don't kick the cat. Oh my god, there's like free stuff back here. And a pigment in there. I have to color it so that I can open it up. Here we go. Hell yeah. Trash bag. I don't think I can place decorations outside of the apartment, though. Otherwise, I would uh, put a little put a little trash bin in. 
I don't think I can place uh, decor outside the apartment. What is that? Oh, bedside table? Yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh, I found a diamond. Do you think I can go? Oh, yeah. Ha! Hi! That has fled somewhere, but we gotta follow it. Where is it leading us? Is it leading us to the... Oh. Hello. Where are you leading us? Probably to a pigment. I think. We follow the fox in the... Oh my god, there's so much stuff right here. Um, we followed the fox in the park, and it led, led us to a pigment. Oh my god. Whoa! There's so much stuff. Oh, I'm stuck. Whoa! Okay, we were following the cat. That <laughs> got distracted. Oh, the time changed, and now there's a person sitting there. Fun. Okay. Hang on, I gotta go back to following the cat. Do I have full... Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, I should use those. Hang on. Oops. Okay, I was actually trying to deselect it, but it's fine. Hello! You're just sitting, holding your coffee <laughs> aloft. Oh, that's a squirrel. I mean, look, what is that? Ah, tiny library! Pigment! Sunflowers! I just keep getting distracted by all the stuff. There's too much stuff. Hi, cat! You there! Yes, you, whippersnapper! You made a steak with my bagel order! Uh, I don't work here. Hey, don't take me for a dunce. I may not have my glasses, but I'm not seen out yet. You sold me a bagel, and you made a mistake. I clearly ordered an all-dressed bagel, but on top, there's what? Some sesame and poppy seeds? That's it? In my day, if you said all-dressed, it meant more than two ingredients. When you order an all-dressed pizza, do you just get a pizza with tomato and cheese? Well, I would argue those don't really count as toppings anyway. I expect you'll fix this for me. I'm not a good mix, and it's it's not a good mix, and it's not edible. I don't work here. <laughs> if you don't work here, why are you in the middle of bringing a customer their order, huh? Don't take me for a fool. I demand a proper bagel with at least five toppings. Otherwise, I'll complain it to the manager. Oh, so are we going to paint a bagel? <laughs> That's funny. I love that. If I was a If I were a painter, and someone assumed that I worked somewhere, and was, like, demanded a bagel with toppings. I also would probably just paint them a bagel with the right toppings. Wait, I'm trying to follow the cat. Oh, hi! Oh, it's the bowl. Did we pet the cat? Did we do it? Oh, you were leading me to the ice cream shop! I need that for a quest. How did you know? Oh, actually, that would those were the people I got the quest from. I didn't realize that they were literally, like, right by the ice cream shop. Oh, is this a tub of Ice cream that I can get for putting in my freezer? Oh, no dogs allowed. Sorry, Joey. Should I get some? Yeah. Ice cream for putting in my freezer. Can I go back here? I don't think I can. Okay, nice to meet you. What was the quest I had? For the... Hang on, I gotta double check not a commission one though so it won't have a oh here we go no dogs i know i know so sad so sad i saw a huge graffiti stencil in the neighborhood that was causing quite a reaction i wonder if i could learn from the artist the first step would be to track them down someone suggested i try the skate park oh exit through the ice cream shop is what the name of the quest is though 
So do I have to actually exit through the ice cream? But I can't go that way. It won't color this bit in. But also it won't let me go that way anyway, so. Because wow. this is the... Th these are the people... Although I actually can't see the... Oh, there it is! I was like, I couldn't actually see the graffiti. It's up there. That's why. I hadn't colored it in. Um, so I don't actually know how I'm supposed to find the skate park. You know? Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here that I've, like, never <laughs> discovered. I think the neighborhood is quite a large area, and I've only been through, like, parts of it. What's this shop? Anchor. Oh, it's the washing... It's the laundromat. If I close my eyes, I can hear the gentle creaking of the ship. Ahoy, matey. Welcome to the... Um, is it Lavoir? Lavoir de Lotion? Uh, the sea, she's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> this is the laundromat, Captain. You can't fool an old sea dog. All water is the sea at some point. Whether it be in the canal or the space cycle. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. Oh, you're right. I've done what I can, but it's not the same. She's my true love, the sea, my only love. I used to be a captain, you know, of my own little sailboat. I, I found a sailboat at the park. Mm -hmm. Those days are many tides behind me now. I like that, many tides behind me. I spent years just staring out at the waves, but eventually a lover's got to make a living. <laughs> um, well, you've got to load in. Would you like to hear the story of an old sailor? Uh, I'm not doing any laundry. Ah, if you insist. <laughs> I'll tell you everything in all its glory. It was almost 20 years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. The day started like any other. My boat was offshore, far from the coast, and the wind was gentle. When all of a sudden, in the space of a few minutes, the sky turned black with clouds. I've never seen anything like it. Before I had time to even put on my cape, bam! Lightning struck the mast. Uh, that seems statistically unlikely. <laughs> and yet, it happened. I swear as a sailor. The mast fell into the briny depths like a burnt twig. I was adrift, but the sea was rising, swelling into ten, no, twenty-five foot waves. Even without a sail, I could feel the wind wasn't blowing straight, and the current converged to a single point, a maelstrom. And it was then, as I stared into the heart of the vortex in terror, gaze transfixed, unable to move, that I saw a single tentacle pierce the surface. I pulled my long sight out of my pocket right away to see what kind of creature I was dealing with. If only it had been just one tentacle, but soon there were two, then th four, then eight, then sixteen. It was a monster. Oh, I'm gonna go with him at this point. That's incredible. I wouldn't have believed it myself if I hadn't seen it through my trusty spyglass. I approached the beast in spite of my fear. My heartbeat drowned out the distant thunder. And then... Another flash. Blinding. Deafening. I only recall that everything went white. And after? I woke up to the noise of seagulls on the riverbank, coughing up seawater. The sun was bright in an azure sky, and my sailboat was nowhere to be seen on the horizon. At that moment, I understood that the sea was giving me a gift. She gave me an incredible story, and she gave me my life to tell it. Every good sailor knows that the sea, she doesn't give second chances. You listen to your first warning. Since then, I keep my feet on the ground and scan the horizon, hoping for the glint of sun on salty waves. If only my spyglass could see through the murky depths of time and show me that magnificent beast again. I could paint it on your window. Why would I paint it on the window? Okay. That'd be a great kindness on your part. Some people might not want to remember a day like that, but it brings me to life. Make sure to show my boat engulfed by clouds and lightning under attack by that incredible monster. How I miss adventure. Interesting. Half expected story to end with. So anyway, that's what happened with the video game dredge. <laughs> so it says on your window. So do we actually paint it on the window? For this one? Do we think? Oh, hello. Sorry. I didn't realize you were there. Kind of all up in your space. Wow, look at all this nautical stuff. Fun. What a good way to get nautical items for my paintings without being on the coast. Ah, no, I didn't mean to go into... Oh, I was actually trying to get the lighthouse behind you. Okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to scan some items. Soap! Detergent! Laundry hamper! Should we get some soap? I, yeah, I might already have soap. Oh, I, have a, I found something! Oh, astro- of a scuba helmet, I think. Oh, is that the boat? No, maybe? 
Not sure. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I get overwhelmed finding everything. You know? Okay. Um, what were we doing? <laughs> oh, right, I was trying to find the skate park. I don't know. Oh, it's a splat. I don't know where it is, though. This exit through the ice cream shop. Oh, no, it's the afternoon. Wow. Indeed. Hmm. Um, is there anything in these bins? No. Hmm. A note. How do we... Hmm. I don't know where the skate park is. Somewhere. Um, oh yeah, there's a little book market going on here. I already bought some books. I mean, I'm, I will need more inevitably at some point, but... Ooh, a journal. Oopie. Oopie! More books! Uh, what's this way? The park. Okay, well, I gotta find the skate park, which is in the, in this bit, I would assume it's in the neighborhood. Oh, sorry. Walking through, uh, some photography. Um, where do we think a skate park is? Hang on, this is where I came when I was following the cat? What is this? Oh, look, a garage door? Um, this is where I came when I was following the cat, so let me go back this way. Hmm. Looking very white over here. Oh, this is a dead end, I think. Oh no, I can get around. Oh, it is a dead end, though. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I remember going this way when I found the railway. Maybe? Oh, can I go that? Okay, well, I'm going this way. Oh. Right, someone's still got their Christmas decor up. I think there was a quest to do with that, but I don't remember what it was. Was it this way? No. Maybe? <gasps> the railroad! Okay, I gotta try and find the bike rack in the railroad. That's our new mission. Okay, so I can get here through the neighborhood. Okay. I gotta try and find the bike rack. So I can fast travel here. I hope the bike rack isn't, like, all the way... Sorry, my headphones just made a noise. Hang on, I gotta plug them in. Oh, no, the plug is not plugged in anymore. Shoot, what did I swap it for? Oh, the stream deck. That's fine. We can swap that back. Oh, actually, that's unplugged as well. That's fine. Okay, hang on. Stand by, stand by. E. Go in. Please. I did it. The cable's all under a bunch of stuff. Stand by. Oh no. <laughs> Stop. Ah! Everything's a mess on my desk. I have to tidy my desk. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I gotta plug them in. Mission accomplished. Oh, hope y'all are staying hydrated, by the way, gang. And taking care of yourselves. Oh, meds reminder. I took my meds earlier in the stream, which might have reminded some of y'all, but... If you, uh... If you, uh, haven't had your meds yet, and it's the time for you to have done so, um, then make sure you, make sure you do it. Okay. Here we go. Ready? All right. So keep your eyes. Who was that? Oh, hello. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for a bike rack. Oh, this is the skate park. Oh, right. I have seen this before. I totally forgot. 
Okay, but I need to find a bike rack. It's not going to be on the skate park, will it? Hang on. This cable's in the way of my moving my mouse. There we go. Put it on that side. Okay. Oh, I had this before where I, um... Yeah, there was a little shortcut here, but I didn't realize. I don't know if the bike rack is going to be in this bit. This is where the commune was, though. Hi, BJ. Welcome in. Two windmills are sitting on a hill. One asks the other. Do you have a favorite song? The other replies, well, all my life I've been a heavy metal fan. <laughs> Love that. Uh, welcome in, BJ. Hope you're having a good day so far. Oh, there's some, like, target birds there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that I, like, start... I, like, just made it in here and, like, started discovering stuff, but it didn't get very far. Okay. I should probably hustle to make sure that I get through everything this time. Make it to the thing. Alright, I better... Okay, I gotta hustle. I gotta hustle. This doesn't seem safe. Like, not sketchy dangerous, but, like, physically, I'm, uh, you know, I hope my, I hope I have all my tetanus shots and stuff. Is this another door? Yes. Hello? Oh. Hello. Okay. You only need one in turn this summer? That's fine. Oh! <gasps> the bike rack! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, because I have not explored the railroad very much at all, because I've just been, like... Um... I, I only made it here once, and I didn't have much time. So, I mean, I was just trying to get into the commune. Um... So, there we go. Now I've, now I've got the bike rack for it. I can, um... I can get uh, into the railroad much more quickly. Can I close this back up? No? Okay. Fine. Cool. Just scream bike rack at the screen! Oh, did you see it? Or, like, when I got it, you mean. But either way. <laughs> oh no, it's evening time. That's okay. Alright. Now, I don't know exactly where the commune is. Peggy did give me some instructions, but, like, I don't... I don't really remember them. <laughs> if I'm honest. Um... That's okay, though. Uh, alright. A teapot. So yeah, she said there was, like, an artist's commune and, like, a space I could use as, like, a studio? If you have any dishes, just add them to the pile. Oh, I actually don't have any dishes, but, um, right, thank you. Yeah, so I guess there's, like, I mean, that, that one, um... Um, what are they called? The big metal containers? Are these called containers? Why do I, there's a name I'm looking for. Container didn't make my brain go. Oh, anyway, uh, that one had like uh, like a bed and stuff in it. So I assume someone's living in there. There's like a little community of people here. Maybe. Oh yeah, a tent and stuff. Okay. I, yeah, I don't think container is the word that I'm looking for. Um. Oh, there's a pigment in there. Yay! I have so many pigments. I've not been doing the paintings. I've mostly just been exploring. Okay, so... I don't know... There's so much stuff going on in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a commission down there. Oh well. I think I had lots of uh, teardrops saved up. They're not called teardrops. <laughs> Petals. Feel them moving to somewhere to paint for the summer and then spending all your time exploring not paint <laughs> on brand for life. I mean, yeah, very possibly. 
What are y'all doing up here? Oh, oh my goodness. This place is like a maze. You can paint the sky? Yes. You can paint everything. I haven't been painting the sky very much, but yes, you can. <laughs> you can paint everything. Well, not the people, actually. You can't paint the people. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. This looks like it's... Someone's studio. Okay. Oh, is this where the graffiti artist is? That looks like the... Um... One of those looks like it was the graffiti. That had been on the thing. I'm trying to color this tree in there. Interesting. Hmm. So... Where's the... Where are we supposed to go? Oh, through the bus? Was that... Did they say that at some point? Oh, there's little notes on here. Hey, did she tell me to go through the bus? I feel like she did. Maybe? Okay, well, here's these people who have a permission. Hello! I came to see you because my girlfriend is into sailors. <laughs> not to just get whatever you feel like scribbled on my skin. That's my point. You want a super classic tattoo. Just an anchor, a heart, and a rose. I can do that with my eyes closed. What? Now you want to close your eyes too? I just want to sketch first. Is that really too much to ask? I can make you a sketch. Really? You're an artist? I'm begging you. Sketch a design. Hey man, beg off. He's my client. If there's no sketch, there's no client. Alright, chill. If you want a sketch, I'll go with it. But it stops there. I'm tattooing him with stick and poke. If you don't do it right, you'll cause infection. <laughs> what? I could get infected too? <laughs> I might change my mind after all. Or faint. Hey, ball of nerves on two legs. Stay sitting if you're gonna faint. You won. You're gonna get your sketch. I gotta find an anchor though. Also, if your girlfriend is into sailors, I don't really think getting a heart and anchor and rose tattoo is the way to sort of um, improve that situation. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, that's alright. It's not my business. It's not my business. Oh, I didn't... Okay. Oh, look at all this stuff! Wow, this place is huge. I mean, I know some of it's been kind of me going in loops because it's all kind of the day will end soon. No! Well, at least I found the bike rack so I can come back and uh, explore at some point. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. Oh, that's the bike rack. Oh, that's not what I want. I mean, it's going to teleport us back home in a minute anyway, but... Fine. Interesting. Okay, so... Interesting. Maybe I came at the wrong time of day. Maybe it was only at certain times of day that I that Peggy is here. Or on certain days. I'll I'll have to check. Oh, there's more of that same graffiti. I don't know how to get over there though. I don't know if I can. Oh, there's a pigment in there. No. Aha! I made it. Just in time. Day is about to end. That's okay. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. Hmm. I spent 21 bucks? Why did I spend 21 bucks? <laughs> oh. It's fun. Alright. <laughs> it's me just, like, buying random stuff that catches my eye. Well, now I can teleport to the commune. 
Meet Peggy in the commune. Oh no, there's no day or... There's no day or time. Okay. Let's make some colors. So these are the colors that we've unlocked so far. Let's grab like a purple. And maybe red. Orange. I'm trying to grab some standard colors. Uh, let's grab, like, a different green, so we've got a couple greens to work with. Here we go. Um, I don't think I want to do a painting right now. Actually, do I? Maybe I should do some. Maybe I should clear out some of the things. Maybe I should clear out some of the things in my inventory. In my, uh, quest log, rather. Um. Yeah, this is in the alleyway, and this is in the alleyway. So if I complete these two... I might be able to turn them in today. Yeah. Moose, raptor, hockey stick, hockey net, ball. Right. They want a poster for their, um, they want a poster for their, their hockey, um, tournament. Um, but the two kids' teams are the, the, um, Uh, raptors and the mooses. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna kind of have these like this, I think. It's not an actual moose, it's a cardboard moose, but we kind of get it. Oh, wait, I don't want to roll it that much. We kind of get it like this. Alright. We might want two hockey sticks. Maybe? If we kind of... Like... Um... Put them in like an X shape. Might kind of... Something like this. I want a second hockey stick. Trying to get it, like, <laughs> kind of centered. <laughs> and kind of the same as the other one. <laughs> if I can. Hang on, I'm gonna move the moose a little bit. So that the head is closer to where the head of the raptor is. Alright, and then they want a hockey net. We can kind of put that, like, at the back. Maybe? I don't remember how to change the order of things. Oh, R and F. Back here. And then a hockey ball. Oh, I've got a lot of empty space at the bottom. That's okay. We'll put... What if I change it to square? Oh, that's larger. That's not what we want. Okay. <laughs> well, that's alright. What if I put the goal down here, maybe? No, I liked it better up here. I just have empty space down there now. I guess I can move the hockey sticks. Something like this. Hang on. Uh, maybe we want like a... Like a blue... This is more indigo, but like an indigo-y background? Yeah! You can't really see the hockey sticks that well. But that's probably okay. Maybe that's better? Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. It's fine. <laughs> it'll do. It's fine. All right. Uh, and then the other one I was going to do was uh, the food chain one. Yeah. Um, so let's grab like... Oh my god. I, I, don't, I don't know. So we're gonna grab an insect. We want probably like a 
maybe a caterpillar, maybe a butterfly, or oh, like a ladybug. Let's put a ladybug. Okay, but not that big. Put a little ladybug. We'll put a bird. Maybe like bird in the sky. I think we want a flying one. Um, should we put a crow? Or yeah, let's put a crow in. I don't know if crows eat ladybugs, but. I also think it crows a bit big to be, uh, the, um, <laughs> the prey of the cat, but that's all right. Um. Maybe cat sleeping. Oh, look at the little feet! Um, actually, do we want to put the cat behind the... No, let's put it... Okay, I'm actually gonna change that for... Uh, maybe a sparrow? Yeah, let's put a sparrow in, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot I could change the color of the plant. Should I do that? Maybe? I guess I would just make it, like, a bit of, like, a punchier green. Boochin. Done. Cool. So, those should both be turned in in the alleyway. Yeah. Midday or afternoon... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Or Thursday? I don't know how to see what day it is. I don't know how to see what day it is. If I mouse over... Oh, I thought if I mouse over that, it would tell me. Well, alright. That's fine. We'll just head to the alleyway and hope that we can... Uh... Oh, I think it said still life was ready to turn in as well. So maybe I'll turn that in. Look at us go, we're doing it. Another qualm that I have is that um, time moves forward while you're painting, which is why I was trying to do those kind of quickly rather than like taking my time about it. Um, so, which like, I mean, I, I kind of get it in some ways, but it, it means that it, it it's harder for me to justify, like, taking a lot of time, like, about a painting when the, the days feel so short otherwise, so. Um, that's a unique still life. You should be proud of yourself. I, I did that a while ago. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I got a sofa. You know what? I always thought that with an artist living here, it would be nice to redecorate the front yard. But Marianne was always busy with other projects. Oh, but I forgot. You can't buy anything to decorate with. I usually go to this garden shop in the park, but they're closed right now. This sweet old man usually runs it all summer, but it seems to be having problems. Something about birds? Oh, so if I finish the the um, the scarecrow painting, then a, a furniture shop will open up. Huh. Okay. If you see that they reopen, let me know and you can start decorating. Who knows? Maybe they can use a painter's help. They can, in fact. I've met them. Help open the garden shop. Okay. Um, I've, I've picked up that commission. They um, are having problems with crows in the communal garden in the park and they want a painting of a scarecrow yeah a gardener has had his shop in the park plagued by crows he asked me to paint a head for his scarecrow that's frightening enough to save his plants yeah <laughs> like fair enough so that's <laughs> yeah 
That's 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 what that commission is. So we can uh, we can work on that. All right. So I have some things to turn. Our fort is gone. Oh no, your fort's gone. Um. Oh, we've got an ad in progress. Shoot. All right. I'll I'll uh, take a little break there. OBS isn't notifying me of upcoming ads. Normally, there's a little like um pop up that's like you know ad starting in however many minutes but um it wasn't doing that in obs very uh very annoying that's all right also the i chatted out of the game for a second so there'd be no uh no game sound for for a, for a second well that's okay um i don't think there's a whole lot of background music uh during the menu anyway so it's fine Oh, I feel kind of peckish, actually. I wonder if I need a snack. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know what snack I would have, though. Ooh! Oh! I feel like I've made good progress so far today, though. I still haven't found Peggy in the commune but i have at least found the artist's commune and i've got the bike rack there so i can get to the railroad more easily um so that's good because <laughs> yeah that was literally how i ended last time was like it was the last day that i was playing on stream and it um the the time was like winding down and i'd like only just gotten to the railroad like and then i had to sort of navigate my way around i didn't i couldn't see the ramp there was like a little shortcut so i had to go like a sort of long way around uh it was a bit of a maze <laughs> um but yeah and then i was like well <laughs> i'll have to come back and find my way next stream so and the and the and we did so good progress so far and i finished a couple of my commissions so i've still got quite a few um commissions uh oh actually hang on let me swap that back over okay um those are my those are completed ones so that's fine um i'm about to turn that in and i'm about to turn this in um yeah empty cage syndrome pigeons perch so yeah paint a pigeon and a statue that's fine um i need to find the cannabis plant in the railroad um and then I need to find the letters T and L. So that's in the park and that's in the market. So I should have a look for those at some point. Ah, uh, this one we can paint. This one we can paint. This one, fine. Meet the poet in the bar? I don't know where the bar is. Yeah, and then find the graffiti artist near the skate park. So we'll have to go back to the railroad, but go to the skate park section i think because it yeah um paint a picture of a bouquet um yeah there's the um the portrait one okay just looking at all my stuff i still gotta find an anchor found in the neighborhood that makes sense because that's where the um the captain's uh, laundromat was, so that makes sense that that's probably where the anchor is. Help open the garden shop. Yeah, that's to tied to the uh, scarecrow one, so that's fine. Okay. That's locked. Oh, but there is a quest in there. Can I get in there? Oh, cat! Cute. Hi, kitty. I don't know if I can get in there, but that's fine. Maybe it's only locked at certain times of day but they have a quest for me so if it if they like go away then they'll i wonder how i get in there can i go from this way no it's kind of weird you're here that, I, honestly that's fair that's fair enough all right hang on the hockey the hockey kids should be here they have your poster mooses versus raptors is that the poster yes it is i tried my best I got 10 bucks and some hockey equipment as a gift. As our official... 
that person uh, will save you the seat of honor. Oh, is that, did I, oh, and there's my poster. That's nice. All right, I need to find, um, oh, I don't remember her name. I want to say Aisha, but I don't know where I'm pulling that from. Oh, no, it is Aisha. Okay. But I don't know where she'll be, because when I got the commission, she was just out here looking at these uh, plants, so she'll be around. But I don't know where necessarily, and she won't be in here. Don't interrupt story time. Absolutely. I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so... Hmm. I gotta try and find Aisha. Who's somewhere. Oh, there's the bike rack. Oh, that's how I get in. There we go. Hello. We won't eat this cardboard cereal. We want rainbow cereal. Rainbow marshmallow cardboard. Oh, Lord. Kids, huh? They're so susceptible to advertising. I bet you if the box of healthy cereal looked like the box of junk food, they would eat it right away. I'll fix it. I'm, I am making cereal boxes now. Oh, really? I wouldn't say no. I'll do anything to get them to eat. I gotta find a four-leaf clover in the alleyway. Which is where we are. Okay. Gotta find a four-leaf clover. And then we're gonna make a fake Lucky Charms box. Essentially. <laughs> but not by name. But, uh... Okay. So I gotta find a four-leaf clover somewhere, but that's all right. Um, I also gotta find Aisha. I think that. Oh, I've lost. <laughs> um, because she was out when we got the commission. She was out, like I think it was here, like checking out the bugs. So, hmm, I'm gonna just look around. She should have a quest marker. This is gonna be... Yeah, this is where the person's making the... I don't remember what it's called, the holiday, but... Um... Yeah, making the decorations for the holiday, and then the person across the street is making uh, Canada Day decorations. Do we think she's... Mm, I don't know where she is. Because it said... Unless it's not the right... I can't tell what day it is, though. <laughs> like, I... It's... Unless I'm just, like, totally missing the part where it's telling me what day it is. The day of the weeks are written in red, though. Which, to me, would kind of imply that it's not the right... Because these are in red. Because I don't have them. So, are, are, is, it, is it Friday, maybe? Friday or Saturday? I didn't think it was Friday. I thought it was a little earlier in the week than that. I thought it was, like, maybe Thursday. But maybe it is Friday. Maybe that's why it's written in red. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, well, we'll go back to the... We'll go back to the railroad and keep doing stuff there, then. Um... Because I can't find Aisha. It might be that it's Friday. Um, or Saturday. But I, I think if, I, if either of them, I think it would be Friday. Oh, but that means she's not going to be around tomorrow either. Damn. Well, that's okay. We've at least done the commission. And then next time we find her, we can uh, we can turn it in. So that's something. All right. So I have no idea where Peggy would be. Like, I don't even know where, the, like, the to start is this the... So this is, like, the entrance. So it won't be back that way. Although... The, um... The graffiti artist is in the skate... Is by the skate park. So... Yeah. Oh! Well, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Interesting. You got a whole, like, brewery thing going on? Oh. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much stuff back here. Oh, I'm, like, on the other side of... I think 
I was inside that, like, trolley thing before, right? Oh, maybe not? Ah, is this where we find the cannabis plants? Maybe? There's a lot of plants growing back here. It'll, t it'll tell me when I find it. Because it's the last thing I need for, uh, one of the paintings. I'm just gonna keep filling in the plants. Oh my gosh, it's so lush. Oh, there's another pigment. How do I get it? Can I climb these? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I did not find the cannabis yet. Oh, there's more plants over here, though. But near, near here, I reckon, is probably where the... Oh, God, there's more in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. There we go. Cool. Oh, my God, there's so much stuff. Every time I find a new little, like, nook, I'm like, whoa! Oh, my goodness. There's just always so much to discover. Now, should I be following these arrows, you think? Hi, Disco! This is not what I thought the Ete was. Interesting. What did you... What did you think it was? Welcome in, though. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. Didn't I come through here? I feel like I did. I think I did. Oh, no. I need to sneeze. Oops. Hang on. Stand by. I thought it was a fencing game. Is that... Uh, Epe? Or is Ete a... I think it's, uh, French for summer, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's about, uh, painting and exploring, um, Montreal, uh, during the summertime. Not fencing. That would be cool, though. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to find my way around this artist commune and I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I don't think I've been this way yet. I found her! I did it! That's my- there's my little painter prodigy. I knew the siren song of a new studio would draw you here eventually. Don't you just love the urban wilds? Neighbors have been kind enough to let me wait here for you. Uh, are they sure they want you here? They didn't exactly roll out the welcome tent. I had that done myself. But they haven't asked me to leave. That's fair. Uh, yeah, no, this is cute. <laughs> My turn to nab this as a secret game before Bo does. I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, I mean, I'm a sucker for, like, watercolor art, so that's definitely doing it for me. But I feel like it really captures that, like, summertime in the city, like, uh, sense of, like, community and stuff like that. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And also, like, the excitement of discovering a new place. I'm really enjoying it. I really recommend it, so. Um, they didn't exactly roll out the welcome tent. Oh, yeah, sorry for um, oh, well, trust an artist to uncover the secret emotional truth of a situation. Shall we be on our way? I guess so. Follow this path to your right. I was just, I just came from that way. Is that not the way I was supposed to come from? Turn right again. After the yellow container, you'll come to the gate. I'll meet you there. Okay. I guess I was supposed to come from this way? Oh, yeah, there's literally a trail of dots. I just must have missed where that trail started and, or... I noticed it and I didn't follow it. But this is the way I was supposed to come. I was literally at literally some steps like right up to her. <laughs> oh, there's a what what is this? Can it Oh you can get there from the market. It's literally like right <laughs> right by this entrance. Oh my god. Hi Coral, welcome in. Cozy D blob? What do you mean? What do you mean? Um. But well, welcome in. Um. Well, I guess we. I guess we go that way then. But that, I came from that way. Can I go in this? No. 
Okay. Um, alright. Well, onwards and upwards. Yeah, now there's things down there to go. Much of it under a rock in the early 2000s. Uh, I was a child in the early 2000s. <laughs> like, y'all, I was born in 96, so I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> the studio of your dreams is right through here. Is it, though? Okay. Well, we're getting a studio, apparently. Eggie's found us a, a studio. Oh, that's what the warehouse is. Oh. Well, I don't know what to tell ya. D-Blob never made it to my neck of the woods. I've never heard of it. Are you younger than me? I have no idea. I just, because I was in the early 2000s, I was like six and seven, so I wasn't, you know? I assume it's a video game. I wasn't really in charge of what video games made it into the house. So, in that sense, I was living under a rock. You know? So. <laughs> um, I just assume most people are either my age or older than me. <laughs> that's just that's just my assumption. Um, but no, yeah, I, yeah, I was like I was like six or seven, so I wasn't like <laughs> I wasn't in charge of uh I wasn't in charge of uh picking the video games, so I haven't heard of D Blob. Here we are. Isn't it marvelous? That's a big building. The stories in these weathered walls, the, t the tear stains on the windows, for whom does he weep? And its majestic crown, what the locals call the water castle. Oh, giver of life. This is a studio? <laughs> Dream with me. Okay. I was passing by last week. I saw him, truly saw him for the first time. It was sunset, the sky was calming itself from a storm, and the clouds were all crabapple blossoms and bruises. The last rays of the day danced across a residual mist forming a rainbow, and that arc perfectly framed this mournful face before us. I knew then his destiny and mine were entwined. I would have him at any cost. Yeah, the building. <laughs> a cost which was actually quite reasonable, as it turns out. My financial advisor said no one wants a money pit like this. Follow me, let's discover what he has hidden inside. Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. Uh, I know what d cover art looks like, but that's all I know. Okay. The scary reminds me of an old platformer called... Oh, d -blob. Okay. Um, this got this whole theme of recoloring the world. Oh, okay. You have to fight against the evil ink bots that drain the color from the world, and your objective is to recolor the world with that stolen color, city block by city block. Oh, okay, interesting. So, I mean, this is... I guess this is cozy d -blob then, kind of. So, the, the, the gist of this is that you're a watercolor painter who's moved to Montreal for the summer. Um... And you uh, essentially explore the city. So the ci everything starts out like sort of white, whitish gray. Um, and you can sort of color in everything in the world um, and restore color in that sense. Um, there's no nefarious reasons for the lack of color, though. Um, it's uh, There's no sort of antagonists or anything in that sense. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, this released at the end of July of this year. Um, it's uh, so yeah. So you, so you play you play as like a watercolor painter, um, and you can like take commissions, um, and you can also just like paint freely and then sell your paintings uh, in like a little art cafe kind of thing. The visuals are the only similarity for sure. That's fair, yeah. And I guess the 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 filling in of the color uh, in the surroundings, I suppose. That's fair. That's fair. Um, well, yeah, I, in that case, yeah, yeah, it is, it is like Cozy Deep Love, I suppose. Um, so this one's already colored in, so I can't demonstrate it, but, uh, generally the places are, like, kind of grayed out, um, and then you sort of apply color as you, as you explore. A trespasser! Hi, don't mind me, I was just grabbing a bit of scrap. Oh, it's Fabienne! <clears throat> Did pronounce it right once. Oh, de blob, yes. Yeah, I... Yeah. I, I pronounced it right when you told me and then immediately forgot. <laughs> My bad. Larceny. Ooh. I don't steal. This building has been abandoned for years. My beautiful boy is no longer an unwanted orphan. Every one of his loose bricks is now under my protection. Can you hear yourself? What are you even saying? I think she means she bought the building. Haley? Painter is correct. The sublime monument is now under my care. 
So you see me moving around some scrap and immediately assume I'm stealing? Wow, I wonder why that is. <laughs> I was overwhelmed. It's not right to be moving things. When I purchased... <laughs> Hold up, you said bought the building? What do you plan to do with it? You're going to turn it into another sterile hotel, aren't you? That's not... You can't just bulldoze all the memories here. Do you even know what this place is? Of course not. Another landmark of the city, sacrificed for the idle rich. I expect you to restore everything to how you found it. Now, Peggy, is it so crucial that all of the bricks are exactly in the place they were when you found them? Because surely we would also be clearing up, like, the rubble and stuff. You know? <laughs> Fine, you want your trash? Take it. Throw it, Fabian. Oh, she just, okay. She just dropped it. I'll be unloading my trailer outside. You can haul it back in yourself if your rubble feng shui matters that much to you. I'm with Fabienne. Good riddance. The nerve. Thinking I would sully this noble creature with a hotel. You shouldn't have treated Fabienne like that. I think neither of you were listening to each other. That... Mm, well, I do also think Fabian. No, I'm gonna say you shouldn't have treated Fabian like that. I suppose she had no way to know. But is she blind? Can't she see the aesthetic perfection of this place? To even move one discarded can or shard of glass is an unthinkable crime against the essence of this gentle brute. You're not planning on keeping all the... Okay. <laughs> but back to the matter at hand. We were discussing how much you must also love this place. Take it all in. Breathe deep of the history. But I don't know the history. Fabienne was going to tell us. Okay. Um... You mentioned a studio. You did mention a studio. Of course, just look at all that space to set up your easel. Wow. Well, I'm sure there's a patch somewhere without too much rubble. Oh. There would have been more patches without rubble if you just let Fabienne take it. Uh, Fabienne is the person who runs the, the cycle shop. Um, they told us that they use all, like, recycled, like, trash materials, basically, to build the bikes. Um, so that's probably what they were gathering here. I see so much more than a studio. A gallery, a creation hub, a museum. It can grow alongside you to be whatever you need it to be. It is right here amongst the fallen beams and upright rubble that you must hold your first exposition. Have you had an exposition before? No. Your first exposition. <laughs> you need to get to know your studio and create together. Entirely new works for this new chapter. There's no set number of paintings that makes a good exposition, but I've helped many young artists debut before. Come find me after you've hung five paintings. We will have an intimate viewing. Just you, me, and my boy. By my boy, do you mean the building in that context again? I had a position once, but then it was like, <laughs> that my next position. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that it is, yeah. Um, only then will I be able to scry what more is required for your full exposition. Okay. Hang five paintings in the studio. Okay. Oh. Imagine your name emblazoned in lights, the painter of the future. <laughs> she, she doesn't know my name. <laughs> what is your name, by the way? Haley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can see it now. An abstract landscape balanced on the crumbling brick wall. An electric take on portraiture right beside those exposed wires. Oh. An avant-garde bouquet nestled in those sharp metal sheets. Where is the viewer- where is the viewer supposed to stand safely? Though it brings me great pain to say, I think this may warrant some remodeling. Mm -hmm. You and I appreciate my baby's singular beauty, but critics won't respond well to a rusty pipe of... Damocles? Over their heads? Oh. You must take charge of the restoration. I could never bring myself to alter the smallest part of this perfect beast. But if you handle a building half as well as you handle a brush, I'm sure you'll keep his spirit intact. I'm trusting you to do what you need to and no more. Find someone to help restore studio. I was going to say, I do not... <laughs> Should find someone who knows their way around a tool shop. It's too bad Peggy chased Fabienne away, yeah. Um, here you are, Haley. The key's the proverbial castle. Uh, okay, thanks. Wow. Literally only know how to pronounce, uh, De is it Damocles? Because of Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's fair. <laughs> Thank me only through your labors. Art is its own reward. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Antique key. Okay. I was but the messenger and have played my part. My beautiful boy is in your hands. Raise him well. Of course, I'll remain the owner on paper, but I'll spare you the legalities. They're always so tedious. Goodbye for now, Haley. I'm putting my trust in you. So you're literally just like, get you. Okay. <laughs> You know what, like, is there any sort of agreement for, like, you to get some cash, like, return at some point? Do what you must to make sure you are both ready for your big day. Alright, so I gotta find someone to... I gotta find someone to help restore the building. Everything's already colored in here. 
Oh, Fabienne! Hi! Art is great, but money is a better reward than <laughs> when others wish to consume it. Yes, very true. Come to accuse me again? No, I'm... Uh, yeah, sorry about her. I don't give a shit who thinks they own this place. Do you even know what it is? No, I don't. Oh, I, my... Oh, no. I'm the owner on paper, and I'll spare you the details. <laughs> the apprehensive... Yeah, I'm a little bit, like... <laughs> uh, it's a little bit sus, but we'll see how it plays out. L'Entrepôt du Quebec Atlantique. I think, I don't know. I don't, I'm not very good at French, I'm sorry. The crown jewel of the rail yard. Sure, it's been abandoned for as long as I can remember, but that doesn't mean it's been empty. For years, it was a favorite location for raves, artists, squats, even a music video or two. But over time, it became harder to maintain, so not as many people were using it, so even fewer wanted to maintain it. The cycle continued, and when it got a little too dangerous, the city fenced it up properly. But before that, there were countless communities here. It was a free space for people to set up and experiment, a cultural center. I just wish there was a way it could still be used for art and the community again. Tell me, is Miss Sering... Hi, Ash. Thank you for the quiet hello. Hope you're doing well. Is Miss Serengeti in there planning to tear it all down? Or will she at least keep the facade? Uh, or maybe she'll leave it up for a bit and let feral artists roam free to hunt them for sport. Is that why you're with her? Um, she gave it to me the side first. <laughs> she just gave it to me as a studio. Mizzle me. She just handed you the keys? Did I say that right? I don't know. Uh, you would be the first artist who really wanted to set up shop here in years. And there's no catch. Are you absolutely sure she isn't loading up a musket right now? Um, she did seem really certain that I was in control, which is sus. She's a much more interesting kind of stupid than I thought. <laughs> what a burn. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure it will make a very comfortable studio for you right now, even if condemned. Chic is your thing. Mm -hmm. Who have you hired to fix it up? Uh, it, I'm sure I can find someone on short notice. Anyone responsible will need to do a whole survey of the place and make sure it's sound, get an architect to sign off. Might take a year or two before work begins, if it begins at all. I hope I don't regret this, but... Back when it was first boarded up, I made a plan for restoration and tried to get the city on board. I was dead. It was dead on arrival. They said there was no money, but I think they were mostly thrilled to be rid of the squad. Assuming things haven't gotten worse, I could probably get together a small crew and do a lot of the basic work myself. Yes, Fabienne! Woo! Uh, what do you say? Should we fix this place up together? Yes. Just remember, kid, I'm not doing this for her, and I'm barely doing this for you. That's okay. That's all right. Life doesn't give a lot of chances to realize old dreams. If I've got your word that all the scrap I clear out is mine, I sh it should pay for the initial work. We'll worry about the rest after that. I'll start with the yard and the front hall where it's safer. You can come back tomorrow to check on the progress. Hell yeah. Awesome. So we've just got this whole ass building now? This is not at all <laughs> what's gonna happen. Just got a whole ass building. Wait, I'm gonna go back to the... Actually, I could just walk through. I'm just gonna go back to the railroad and keep discovering stuff in there i think for the rest of the day because there's not that much time left in this day um there's no point in me like trying to get well i could fast travel back to the apartment and like do something but it's fine it's cool it's weird that there's like just this space here but that's okay hey yo Interesting. So, hmm. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of came through the wrong way, and I, like, really missed the, the, like, obvious entrance <laughs> up to where Peggy was waiting initially, but, um... And now I can't find my way back there. Where, oh, is it like... It was like here, right? But the tent is gone. But she's not waiting anymore. I think. I think so. Okay. Wait, I missed some blobs. Hmm. Let's color all this in. 
interesting. So yeah, this is... So where does this come through to in the market? Because that'll be good to know. I've looked around the market. I must have just completely missed this entrance. Does it connect, like, into a building, maybe? Maybe I was supposed to go through a building? Oh, no, I've never been this way before? Well, that one's locked. Okay. Can I... How... Where how am I supposed to get through? Oh, do I press these buttons? Oh, it's through Fabienne's shop. Oh. When I unlocked Fabienne's shop by buying the bicycle, I, um... I don't think I came this way. I went immediately over to that side. Oh, I see. Interesting. This looks so cool. It is really cool. I'm really, really enjoying it. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's very, like, chill as well. Um, very relaxed. Very low-key. Um, just kind of wander around and, and find stuff. Um, obviously, it's, you know, it, there is structure to it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's very, uh, very chill. Very good vibes. I'm really liking it. Oh, well, Hydra. Thank you, Keza. I really like the art style, too. Um, very cutesy? Um, oh, sorry, you're very cutesy. I thought you were genuinely asking if it was cutesy. <laughs> very demure. I don't think I would say that it was cutesy. <laughs> no squeak, case. I've mastered it now. Um, I would say that it was mindful and demure, but I don't think I would say it was cutesy. Um... Yeah, so we're back. We're back here. Do we want to buy any of this stuff while we're here? Oh, do we want an umbrella? Maybe. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Mine is so satisfying. Coloring the world and as you explore. Yeah, me too. It's nice to have a sort of visual representation of, like, if you haven't been somewhere as well. Um, I think that's really useful. Although, again, I do find when, like, when there's, like, a big expanse of white, it is, like, a little bit hard to navigate. Because you can't see anything <laughs> sometimes. Um, but that's okay. It just takes some getting used to, I think. Just gonna color stuff in in the market. Maybe? I think this is closed as well, yeah. That's fine. I wish that it told me somewhere what day it was. Maybe it does, and I just am being silly. I don't know. That's all right. I assume the bike rack is, like, just here somewhere. Yeah. Um, because I was gonna say, the, um... The back door in the kitchen just leads directly to the alleyway. Uh, there's no outdoor space for, um... Well, for bike racks. So let's go... I should close my door. <laughs> I've just been leaving it open. Oh, that's fine. Hi, Atomic. Thank you for the quiet hello. Hope you're doing well. I do wonder if the completionist in me would struggle, though, like, making me want to stay in one spot until all the white is gone. Someone else said that. I don't remember who, but someone else said that they would have that if they were playing this game. Um, that, like, um, yeah, they, they would, they would, they would struggle with, with there still being, like, bits of white, basically. Oh, there's nowhere for me to hang it here. Shoot. I thought there'd be somewhere for me to put it, like, a covered bit. Well, that's okay. I can put it, I can hang it inside. Maybe in this little corner. I have no idea. Stretch and posture check? That's a good shit. I've been trying to do that, but sometimes it erases. Yeah, I, I can't work out exactly when it does it, but but sometimes it, 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 if, I think it's if you don't fill a whole bit, then it kind of undoes it. I don't, or like sometimes the ground um, or walls, it like doesn't save. I don't know, but would absolutely have to get rid of all the white. Yeah, I, I, I can definitely see why that would be like um, a bit of a, a bit of a hold up. I, I feel like I'm okay with there being patches of white for now. And then eventually later I'll go back and like get all the like little bits. That's how it's been for me personally. Um, yeah, thank you for the stretch and posture check, the Oreo. I appreciate that. Wow. So, 
I've got a lot of, like, little items. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of... Why is this here? Oh, okay. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of, like, decor. I've actually seen some, um, the Impossible Dev team on Twitter have been sharing some, um, like, um, images of how people have decorated their houses, like, that people have sent in who've been playing the game. I saved a couple, actually. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do layout-wise. I can't work out the best space for the bed, to be honest. This is where it started. Like, there are no closed rooms. Um, other than the bathroom. Um, and I suppose the little sunroom, but that is sort of more closed off. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. So I, I think decorating is going to be like a big task. And I have not decided what, uh, what like layout I'm doing or anything yet. Um, I am maybe going to put some furniture down, like just while I'm like um here just to sort of get some of it down so that i can like see what's around a bit more basically all right well the bed table is not gonna fit there is it, well kind of block the doorway but maybe that's okay i'll put my alarm clock on it the day is gonna end in a second but it's fine <sighs> there we go Oh, it was Wednesday. I thought it was Wednesday. So where was... I couldn't find Aisha anywhere. And the dates were written in red, so I assumed... Well, that means it'll be Thursday tomorrow, so... Which I think was one of the days that she was available. I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look. Extreme Studio Makeover can be completed. Heck yeah. Let me check. Oops, there we go. I thought it had- I thought I'd press the wrong button because it didn't. Um... Oh, Wednesday- yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. And Sunday, so she should be there. I just couldn't- I assumed because the day was in red that I- it was the wrong day. <laughs> or something. Um, oh, what color do we want to get? Uh, let's get- yeah. All right, do we want to do... Oh, hang on. I am going to go back to the alleyway and try and deliver that. But let me see if I've got any others that need to be delivered into the alleyway. I know that I can fast travel, but... No, those are all the park. No. Park, park, park. Oh, I have a lot to go into the park, actually. Neighborhood, railroad, alleyway. Ah, oh, but I need the four-leaf clover ring. Right. But, which I don't have. Where do you find that? Oh. Oh, that's in... Okay, maybe I can have a look for the four-leaf clover. Um, and I will try and hand in... Um, food chain. Maybe we should do one of our other ones. Just so that we have it. Let's do... Let's paint this one. Because I think it'll be easy enough to paint. Um. And then we'll have it, like, ready to... Ready to go. We'll have it standing, but I need the statue in first. Oh, there's all different statues. Oh, uh, let's do the bust. Oh, I will hydrate. How you doing, Techno? Thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, let's do this bust. I was gonna maybe do this big statue, but no. Let, yeah, let's do the let's do the bust. Oh. Um, how do we want to do this? Well, this should be in the front. Um... We want it, like, standing on the shoulder, maybe? Kind of zoom it in a bit. Uh, let's give it to... Purplish background? I 
though. Well, that's too dark. No, let's do it like that. Should we color the statue? So that it stands out a little bit more? Maybe? Like a sort of sandstone-y color? Something like that? I don't know. I don't like the purple background. I'm gonna make it maybe like a mint kind of color. Hmm. Or blue? I make all my paintings have blue backgrounds though. Not intentionally, but that's just kind of the way it's been panning out. <laughs> Let's do that. That kind of works. Okay, fine. Done. I did it. All right. So now that's done. So, where are we going? We're gonna go find Aisha in the alleyway. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I should have some water as well. Oof. Y'all make sure you're staying hydrated, please. Hydrate up. Hydrate, hydrate. Alright. What do we got? So... Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for someone that I can turn a quest into. Uh... Maybe at a different time of day she'll be out here? Maybe? It doesn't say a specific time of day for her to, like, be around, so she should be sort of, like, present whenever, but she'll be in, like, different locations. Is the problem. Well, not the... I mean, it's not, it's not a problem necessarily. It's only a problem because I don't know the locations. Oh, hello. Consistency gets gains. Uh, yeah, I believe it. I'm trying to use the stairs as like vantage points to see. Oh, there's a pigment up there. Oh, wait. Is that... Did I see a quest thing there? Maybe? Hang on. Up there? Oh, that, well, that's where the pigment is. I think... I thought I came up here. Maybe I didn't go all the way up? Oh, no, I did not see a quest thing. Okay. Why did I wear this while making curry? So real. <laughs> this cat is everywhere. How do I get that pigment? Well, not this way, I guess. Hmm. Because I, cause I, I thought that this was where, like, by this planter was where we found her originally. So I just assumed she'd be, like, nearby. I don't know how to get that pigment, also. It's, like, too far for me to grab from here, I think. Oh, no! Ah! I was trying to go down the stairs, and then I accidentally went up. Okay. Hmm. The problem is that, like, I... It's hard for me to keep track of where I've been. I keep, uh, like, getting lost. I already went up this way. Well, it's midday now. Hmm. That's an end. I can't go that way. This is the school. Or like the... And that's... That's a... That's the way to the neighborhood, which is not where we want to go. Unless I'm misreading it. She's in the alleyway, right? Aisha, alleyway. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. I, okay. Is this a gate? Oh, I can go in here. Oh, I've not been in here before. Oh my goodness. Whoa. There's so much stuff in here. Hello. Welcome to my garden. It's a beautiful garden. 
Oh, look at the little bridge. Oh my gosh. Everything's so pretty. You have a lovely garden. Cool. Can I go in there? No. Okay. Well, I still haven't found, uh, I still haven't found the kid, but I did find this nice garden. Okay, um... Have we been up these ones yet? I can't go through that. Can we go up here? No, this is right. This is where that person just was. I was just up here. Okay, um... Hmm. There's a gate here, but it's locked. I think that's where the dog is, actually, but I could go around at some point. I don't remember how I got in there, though. Yeah, that is where the dog is. Okay. Um... Hmm. This is a child, but not... Not the child that I'm looking for. Not Aisha. Um. Oh, this is how you get into the dog. Um, is through under here. Doggy, hi. Then the doggy will follow us. Yay! I don't suppose you know where Aisha is, do you? Hmm. This is the one, yeah. Um. Hmm. You're painting some birdhouses. Oh my god, there's old things in here. Whoa! Um. Hmm. Because my, my worry is that she's, like, up on a balcony and I'm not going to be able to see her until I'm, like, at the right balcony. I don't know. Oh my god, the doggy's still following us. Yay! Okay. Um, hmm. You think we can go through here? No. I don't know, gang. I'm stumped. I can't find her anywhere. She's gotta be here somewhere. Hmm. Let me try in here. Hello. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Suppose I could try looking it up, but I don't know. Um I don't know. Oh got stuck. Yeah, maybe I should try looking it up. Um... Oh no, the doggy's stuck. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try real quick, just looking. Um... Hang on. Okay. I don't think that it's gonna pop <laughs> up, but... Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> That's fine.
Hmm. Well, it's the afternoon now. People will have moved around. Maybe she'll be easier to find? Because when I... When I picked up the commission from her, she was, like, looking at a, like, planter with, um, with bugs in it. Like, that she was sort of, um... She wants a food chain so that she can, um, study that for science class. And so she was looking at the bugs in the planter for that purpose. So it would kind of make sense that she wouldn't be there again because, like, she... Do you know what I mean? Like, it would make sense that she wasn't out studying the bugs in the planter, like, every day. Oh my gosh, she is back! <gasps> I couldn't find her earlier! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Well, we found her. Are you finished? Can I see? Yes, there we go. Done. Three pounds fifty. Or three dollars fifty. And a magnifying glass. And a pot. And a pot plate. And a fern. Thanks, Aisha! Your drawing is funnier than the one at school. I'll definitely remember now. Okay, there we go. You should come to my dad's barbecue. We can be a food chain there. <laughs> I'll tell him to leave the gate unlocked for the friendly painter. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now this should be a new gate unlocked, but not that one. Um, big bug energy. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Adorable. Thanks, Aisha. And she gave us... I mean, she gave us $3.50 for the commission, but she also gave us some furniture, so... I mean, she's a kid. She doesn't have that much money. And the, the two hockey kids gave us, like, ten bucks for that commission, so. But, you know, that's alright. They're kids. <laughs> so now... There should be a gate unlocked for us somewhere. But I don't know where, but somewhere. Somewhere there's a gate that's unlocked. But not that one, because that is the back entrance to... The cafe, which is in the neighborhood, but uh, you gotta go the other the other way around. Um, I actually should probably at some point go through the neighborhood and unlock it there. Okay, so I gotta find the one that's unlocked now for me, but not it's not that one. So, um, I feel like it's spending their pocket money on our art. It's the most wholesome thing. Yes, yeah, it is. It's very cute, and to doing it so that um, she can study something for school as well. Uh, I satiated and assembled a small papers organizer for mom and switched laundry to the dryer and now chilling in bed with Minerva. Crushing it, TV. Hell yeah. Nice. I hope that you're, uh, I hope that your chilling is, uh, well, very chill. Um, and restful and stuff. So nice. Nice, nice. Alright, so somewhere... There is an unlocked gate. With our name on it. For barbecue. I wanna go to a barbecue. Wait, I've gone in a circle. I've, I've, I've turned myself around. <laughs> I keep getting confused. But I don't know where the... Is it this? No, that's not. That doesn't even have a lock symbol on it. That one's just... No, now I'm back at the apartment. Maybe it's not unlocked yet? But it will be? I would assume that she's near her house. Right? You, maybe? Hang on. <laughs> I don't know. Unless it is one that I already unlocked? Is it like around here? This isn't a gate, though. Maybe it is up here somewhere? No, that doesn't make sense. I want I want to go to the barbecue. Dang it. I got invited. I want to go. I love a barbecue. We didn't have any barbecues this summer. So sad. Is it this gate? Well, I've never been in here before, so <laughs> and I'm in here now. Whether this is the the that the right one or not, I don't know, but I'm in here now. Um, but yeah, we don't have a barbecue, because we used to live in a flat, so we don't- <laughs> we don't own one. Um, and we couldn't really swing for getting one this summer, um, finances-wise, and, uh, 
We also couldn't get over to Jack's family's for a barbecue because we have Joey now. So we uh, we haven't had a single barbecue all summer. It's very sad. Very sad times. And now it's uh, we're moving out of barbecue weather, so... I can hear... Oh, I was going to say, I can hear ringing. There must be a pigment nearby. There is. It's up there. Pigment! Hello! I was going to say, maybe when we go on holiday, there will be a... Uh, there will be a barbecue at the rental cottage, but again, like I just said, we're kind of moving out of barbecue weather, so... Oh no, I've got too many, uh, too many petals. Just grab that tree. Might as well. What's y'all's favorite thing to... If you're having a barbecue, what's your go-to barbecue food? We generally do burgers and hot dogs. Um, burgers and hot dogs. I quite like corn. I quite like corn on the cob. We didn't get any barbecues this year either, but I did go visit my partner's parents in June, and they have a fire, so I at least got to toast marshmallows. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, I mean, I have barbecued on Boxing Day before. Barbecue weather is just a frame of mind. Well, yeah, it's the... Yeah. The problem is more the rain than the cold. I wouldn't mind... Well, I mean, it would be Jack doing the grilling, but, like, it... Yeah. The cold is all right, but you, there's just... You can't... You can't count on dry weather. <laughs> like... I mean, even in the summertime, that's true, but, like, less less so in the summertime, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, again, I, I also don't have a barbecue, but, yes. I, I, I get you, though. Fire pit. Gotcha. Okay, I don't know which one's Aisha's yard. I want to go to the barbecue. She invited me. I want to go. Maybe it was one that I already unlocked by doing a, a different thing. Maybe. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna fast travel to the neighborhood so that I can go unlock that while I think of it. If I can make it there before the end of the day, but... It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I think my I think our go-to barbecue stuff is generally, like, burgers and dogs. Um, is normally what we'll, uh, what we'll default to. Burgers and dogs. Oh! I got a quest over there. Okay. Well, I'm actually... Ah, I got a quest. Oh, okay. I have a quest somewhere that I wanted to these. So I gotta find that business again. It was like a cafe, but it was somewhere. Oh, look at this building with the blue windows. Oh, and the blue accents. That's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. I like veggie skewers. There's just thing fun about the novelty of eating on off a stick. Yeah, I really like a, a shish kebab. Yeah, it is very it is very satisfying, for sure. Um, oh, there's a gate. Can I go through that if I color it in? Yes, I can. Oh, is this a dead end? Yes. Interesting. I'm just gonna color some of this in. While I'm in here, might as well. Oh my god, it's the S! The S that we all used to draw. Or maybe, I don't know. Okay, well those ones aren't sticking, but that's fine. Wait, stop! I'm getting distracted, I'm trying to find the cafe. Oh wait, I have- this is the person to turn the- that painting into. Is that the canvas of the pigeon that you've got there? Let me see it. Yes it is. Ayo. I got a feather. And a bird cage. And a bird cage. Ah, Mercy, she's perfect. She'll certainly attract some curious eyes. While you were working on it, I had a second idea. You know how crows love shiny things? Those little thieves are so funny. What do they even do with them? That's how my mother lost her wedding ring, stolen by a crow. Or at least that's what you told my father. Oh, we've got an ad coming up. That's okay. Uh, that would make another interesting painting, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, oh, look at this basket. Cute. Wait, I want to get the basket. I'm going to put my fruit and veg in it. 
Hey, wait. I'm gonna hustle and try and find the cafe. Is it that? No, that's the ice cream shop. Uh, that's the laundromat. Although I did need to find the... Oh, there's the anchor. I was gonna say I need to find the anchor. Found it. Okay. Um, oh, is it this? Okay, well, the ad's running. Actually, I'll probably take a quick BRB while the ad is running. Um, let me put the lo-fi back on. Um, I'll do a real quick BRB. Um, a lot of y'all won't hear me say this because you're probably already in an ad, but uh, it's a good opportunity for y'all to grab a quick little break. Um, refill your waters, have a stretch, give your eyes a break from your screens, all that good stuff. Um, and I will be back uh, in a little minute. Cool. BRB. Hello. I'm back. Oh. What's Marie Chen? Apple or rhubarb for your favorite pie? Nice, nice. Like a custard pie, coconut cream, banana cream, something like that. Banoffee pie? Can't believe I forgot that existed. <laughs> you take it back. That's your favorite. I've never had banoffee pie, actually. It sounds interesting. Sour cook joy. <laughs> I don't know that I've eaten one. I've heard of it. Uh, generally, I'm in the ice cream or cookies camp. But yeah, that's for a disco. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not. I don't often go for a pie either, to be honest. Um, in before Marie makes a little painting of their friends for Haley to decorate her studio with. <laughs> That'd be something. Um. Sorry, hang on a second. Um, it's so hard to find here unless you get it homemade, but it's so good. That's fair. Interesting. Yeah, because it, it's, uh, it's banana and toffee, right? Which sounds like it'll be an interesting combination. Um, but also, I'm not going to knock it until I try it. So, if I ever try it. <laughs> Made a banavi cheesecake for Christmas dessert one year. It was the best cheesecake I've ever made. Oh, nice. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe if I ever have the opportunity to try one, I'll uh I'll uh, consider giving it a go. Thank you for sticking through the ads also, everybody. Um We will uh dive back into the game. Um it's super sweet, so I totally guess it's not for everyone. I quite like I quite like what well, quite sweet stuff actually, so it might be good for me. But yeah, that's fair that it might be kind of hit and miss with people, for that reason. I think my brother made a banoffee for holiday a few years ago. Oh, okay, but I can't recall for sure. That's fair. That's fair. All oh, right, I was trying to get into the back garden of I think this is the place. I think. Pretty sure. Oh, but it's closed, so <laughs> never mind. Dang it. Sad times. Give me my droplets. How am I gonna get them way up there? I sometimes keep instinctively, like, pressing the space bar to jump. No jump in this. No jumping. Oh, right, I have to find someone in a bar. Can I go in here? No. It's a bookshop, but it's closed. Or at least close to me. That's all right, though. I'm just gonna color some stuff in in the neighborhood. I think the bar is in the neighborhood, but I don't know where. Because the person that I met who was trying to... Who I'm supposed to meet them in the bar as part of a quest is, uh... I think that was here. I'm coloring a bit more of the sky because I just had a couple random blotches over there. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I think. Hmm. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts on this uh, disco if you do end up uh, covering this on uh, on underplayed. Oh wait, I have a command. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Gang, gang, gang. Just this. No. It's under Hang on. I can't type. There we go. If you're a fan of indie games and or a fan of just excellent podcasts, then you should go check out Underplayed Podcast. 
Uh, Friends of the Stream, Bopo and Disco Cola host an Indie Games uh, recap and review podcast um, called Underplay. So there you go. Um, if you're if you're looking for more uh, more gaming content, then there's the link. And maybe one day there will be an episode about itty. <laughs> yeah, I've been on Underplayed before. <laughs> of course. We gotta support the friends, you know? Is this the way to the bar? Oh, I, I don't know where I am. No, this looks more residential. Oh, do you have a... No, you just have some dialogue. Hello. Oh. Okay. Um... Uh, well, that's the Christmas house. Christmas in July. I don't know that it's technically July and this is just week two. <laughs> but we're here for like the whole summer, so I would assume it's like June or July. Where is the bar? We don't know. Drop to follow. Always looking for a new podcast to keep me sane during work hours. Heck yeah. Oh no, the day will end soon. That's okay. Well, this is where the free stuff was, but it looks like the free furniture has not replenished. It looks like it's maybe just a one-time someone getting rid of some furniture and you can just come grab it for free. That's okay, though. Funny that we can just take the trash bags, too. Oh, there's a pigment up here. Oh, it's, um... Totally forgotten her name. Oh, Marianne. Right, right, right. Um, what's your can't miss in Montre Montreal? I don't do tourist recommendations. For me, at least, Montreal's a city you invest in. Sure, there's a lot for you to do in a weekend. But the really special thing is what you can accomplish when you make connections. Like my apartment, for example. I only got that place after doing some pro bono wedding photos for the landlord. Which only happened because his first choice owed me a favor and pulled out at the last minute. You really looked into this whole ecosystem of back scratches and stabbings to make the most of it. That's fair. Christmas in week two is my favorite festive movie. <laughs> yeah. It's week it's week two of summer, you know? Whenever you just you you think the start of summer is, it's it's week two. I don't know. That's all it's oh cat. Hi, we pet the cat before we go to bed. Oh, good stretching. Okay. Cool. What was I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to get through to unlock the thing, but I have to do that during the day. But it's it's the day now, so I can go do that real quick. And then maybe we'll go do the Extreme Studio Makeover. That would be good. Actually, a bit of fun time to find us because our season finale comes out in about a week. Oh my gosh, is it the end of the season already? Whew. Time. Time is wild. Why am I crouching? All right, hang on. So we want to go to the neighborhood so that we can go through the cafe and unlock the gate into the alleyway so that I've got more ways through. And then I'm going to go to the warehouse because that whole renovation thing should be done. Technically it was done yesterday, but it's fine. Um, plenty to catch up on. Yes. This is like season six? The sixth? The six? Is this the sixth season? There's been a few seasons, so, that, you know, if you wanted to go back and catch up historically, they've covered a lot of games, too. So each episode, they cover one game that they both play, and then they each have a secret game as well. Um... Uh, that only one of them plays and then tells the other about. So each episode covers a few games. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if um, some of your favorite indie games have been covered at one point or another. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, what am I doing? Oh, the cafe. Right, but I don't remember the way. I've forgotten. Okay, hang on. So where does this go to? Just checking. The alleyway, right, right. Okay. Wrapping up on six, yeah. I thought, it, I thought it was season six, but it wasn't positive. This is just a door. Okay. Cafe. I don't remember where it was. Was it this way? That was the Christmas house. Did I find that? Because I was just here. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh! What are you selling? Oh, lemonade. Cute. 
Lemonade and cookies, but only lemonade today. Cute, though. Oh my god, I haven't been over here yet. I never get lost in games, especially in 3D games. Never. I don't... I, I feel like you're... you're being facetious. Right? I feel like. I feel like. <laughs> or if you mean it sincerely, then, I mean, kudos to you. I get lost all the time. But I feel like you're... I feel like you're... you're goosing. Um, that's fun. I'm fairly new into games in general. Anyway, only started playing games in my late 20s, other than The Sims. So it'd be fun to learn about new ones to try out. Heck yeah. Oh my god, there's so many, like, indie titles out there that, like... So many, and so many different, like, niches that you didn't even think about that there, that there are games for. Did I come... I'm trying to retrace my steps from yesterday, because I was near the cafe, but I... I don't remember at which point. Big time goosin'. Okay, yeah. I figured, I figured. Because it was, like, pink and... It had, like, pink and other... Pink and blue furniture outside, I think. I'm just gonna run around. I <laughs> hope that I find it. <laughs> it's somewhere. Was it, like, this? No, because that was the ice cream shop. Is it, like, here? Oh, it's there. It's next to the laundromat. I was, like, right near it. Dang it. Speaking of Goosen, Bo and I might be Goosen in Season 7! <gasps> that heavy-handed hint is landing it all. I mean, I... I... Can I have a guess at what that might mean? If it's a pretty on-the-nose, like, hint. Um... But heck yeah. My wishes on team is ridiculous now, and I think about 70% of them have come from first streams! Well, I'm happy to help. Happy to help in that way. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's not helpful, but... So many cozy games, so little time. Honestly, I'm the same. And especially because I struggle to, like, motivate myself to play games off of, like, outside of stream. So I just, like, never, I, <laughs> like, never play anything. <laughs> Unless it's on stream, and my, like, on stream time for gaming is, like, pretty limited, so. My to be played list is, uh, extensive. The croissants here are the best in the city. Hell yeah. A pigment back here. I'm just working my way back to it. Ayo! I assume there are only enough pigments to get you all of the colors in the game. Like, exactly enough. So you, like, you know, you, you find them all. Presumably. I would assume. Maybe we can find the gate into Aisha's barbecue. Or I suppose it was technically she said that she her she'd ask her dad to leave it open. I guess technically it's her dad's barbecue. But still. Okay. Um, I don't know what's worse, my to be played list or my to be watched list. Fair, fair. My wife just ordered croissant pajamas for the kids, like pajamas with uh with like a croissant design. Like a croissant print? Or are just croissant pr pajamas mean something and I'm just not in the know? Can I go? Is this a gate? No. I think I've done that like five times probably. I'm just trying to... I want to be invited to the barbecue. Wait, I already got invited. I want to go to the barbecue. I want to go to the barbecue. Also, I'm just trying to get like in everywhere for exploration purposes, so. Like a little croissant with a smiley face. Wait, but it... But it's paj But I'm confused. I'm confused. What was pajamas you put on your croissants before you eat them? A little person with a smiley face. But it's pa I'm but it's pajamas? I'm confused. Oh hi! My son is here. Hi Joey! Hi baby! How you doing? Oh it is a pro oh gotcha, 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 gotcha. Let's for oh gotcha. Gotcha. Hi! I'm playing a game. I'm playing a game right now. Oh, you coming up to say hi? Oh, you can come up. It's okay. You can come up. Kind of slid off a little bit. Hi. How you doing? Oh, okay. I have to let him out again. <laughs> Hang on a second, baby. I get the door for you. Yeah, I get the door. There you go. No, I'm staying in here. You can stay if you want. But I'm, I'm staying. Oh, okay. No, I'm still doing stuff in here. Okay, bye. 
Uh, he's a pink feather duster tail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, got right, right, right. Scream print on a pajamas. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. With like a little croissant smiley face. I love that. That's cute. Um, Charlie, I'm, I am not in control of whether or not you have a croissant. If you want one and you have one, knock yourself out, you know? I have no say. I have no power in that matter. <laughs> so far, all I've learned is that Haley wants to go to the barbecue uh, if, in, if she's, in, <laughs> she's been invited, if she can find it. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. I completed a commission for a kid, and she said, oh, cool, I'll make sure my dad leaves the gate open, um, and you can come to our barbecue, and then I have not been able to find it since. And it's not that one, because that one's locked. Still. Dang it to heck! Yeah, it's not that one. I don't know how to get to that one, but I'm, we'll figure it out at some point. Hmm. Hmm! Gotta dash to get ravioli ready for the vets. Oh my god, I don't think I knew your cat was called ravioli. That's a really cute name. Um, thank you for stream. Hope the rest goes swimmingly. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. I hope your vet visit all your, uh, oh no, you have a vet visit. I felt like I said it wrong. Um, all goes smoothly. I hope you have a wonderful weekend as well. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being here and hanging out. You don't have one. Well, how can you get one, Charlie? What's, can you, can you get one? Ravi for short? That would be cute. Maybe her dad isn't approving of you, so he locks the gate. Maybe, but then I feel like she shouldn't offer invitations that she can't, like, that aren't within her control, you know? You know? Like, I feel like if it, if it actually wasn't, like, she probably just wouldn't have said anything. Maybe? Or maybe it was this one, because this one I did go in after, but I don't see a barbecue. I'm literally just looking for, like, an actual, like, a barbecue. Oh, you'd have to brave the rain. Well, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. I have to find a clover also. There's a clover here somewhere. Where do we think there's a clover? You shh. Oh, hi. Sorry, bud. I'm still streaming. I'm still streaming. Do you need something? You all right? It's just standing. It's just standing in the background. It is Robbie for short. That's really cute. I love that. Joseph Kane was his name. I don't know what we would have called him otherwise. He doesn't go by Joseph also, to be clear. He goes by Jelly. Yeah. I'm staying I'm staying here, bud. I'm doing something right now. Yeah. You go you go occupy yourself for a little bit. Okay. Love you. Um, yeah, I I don't know I don't know what to tell you, Charlie. I can't answer the question, can I have a croissant? Because I'm not in I don't have power there. I it's not. <laughs> Thank you for responding. Joey didn't respond. <laughs> um, he's funny. He's a silly head. Yeah, I don't know how to get into this one. This... Oh, what? This is unlocked now. Oh, this is the one where the barbecue is. There was a lock icon on this. Maybe because the time of day? Maybe it was the time of day. Dang it, I tried this gate so many times. It must have just been because it's like afternoon now. I did it! I made it to the barbecue! I made it! Hello, I'm here for the barbecue. Just starting cooking now. Everyone should be showing up in a little bit. I made it for the barbecue! I was just saying I hadn't been to a barbecue all summer, and now I got invited to one. Everyone's gonna show up, because it's afternoon time right now, so then presumably when it rolls over into evening, more people will be here for the barbecue? Am I- am I at a neighborhood event? Oh my god, are we gonna get to do neighborhood things? I was gonna say, I haven't been up here yet, because... That thing is blocked, so. Can't leave a lovely day going. <laughs> Thanks, Steve <Matan. laughs> Um, You should be like, oh, yes, of course, Bessie. I will get you one and drive three hours to deliver it. Anything for you? <laughs> uh, listen, I would if I could. I would if I could. If it weren't a three hour drive, I, you know, I would consider it. 
but uh yeah unfortunately it's it's a little bit far a little bit far but tell you what next time you come visit i will make sure that there are croissants on deck is that what the kids say on deck that's what people say right i'll make sure there's plenty of croissants okay well that didn't you know <laughs> her dad didn't want you then she found out and i looked at the gate he originally locked yeah that that sounds right <laughs> I like the occasional car alarm going awfuls. Let me down. Oh. I want to stay for the barbecue. I could sit and make time pass faster, to be fair, but... There's nothing there! You said you were just starting to cook! What the heck? Hello, the side of the building, please. Thank you. So many bricks. Oh my gosh. Imagine if I was painting that building. Do y'all know how long it takes me to paint bricks? I'll be there tonight. Oh, I don't know if I can get croissants that quickly. Uh-oh. I better hustle. Okay, what if I sit? Oh yeah, look, it's only midday. Wow. Oh my god, there's more people here. Wow. Oh my god. Nice to see someone who knows how to come to the right side of the fence. Oh, because this person is out there. Don't blow my cover? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for helping Anna with her homework. Anna? What? This is Aisha. What? Maybe they changed the name and then forgot to change it in some of the dialogue? Oh my god. Porn! Oh my god! Barbecue! We're at a barbecue with the neighborhood. Oh my god. Cute. There's a little music playing. Wow. Aww. It's kind of hard to get in and out using this gate, but that's okay. Wait, does anyone know where I can get a croissant really quickly? If Charlie's gonna be here tonight. I don't even know where the best place for me to get croissants would be. So why are you just, like, standing out here? Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> ah. We were at the barbecue. Oh, there's droplets in the bins. We gotta open the bins up. The color in this little, little alley. Alleyway. Oh, okay, well, it didn't work. That's okay. Cute. Oh, cat! Wait, I can't. I can't get to it. I want to pet the cat! How do I get there? Rude! I want to pet the cat. Hang on. Are there droplets in all the bins? Oh yeah, I think when you fill in the bin... I demand cat petting! I can't get to it! I don't know how to get there. You can pet the cat in this. I just I just can't pet this cat right now because I can't... I can't... I can't get to it. <laughs> Dang it! Wait, I have to stay at the barbecue for barbecue things. Neil. I'll just color some stuff in. Wait. Oh, right. That's where the dog is. Here, I'll come pet the dog instead, because I can't reach the cat. Hi, doggy. Then the dog will follow us. You have to let the cat come to you. Well, we might we might be waiting for a bit, but that's okay, because now the dog is following us. No petals remaining? Oh, shoot. That's fair. It's because I used them all, but not on things that gave me very many droplets back. That's okay. We'll bring the dog to the barbecue. Do you want to come to the barbecue, sir? I don't know that the dog is a sir. Do you want to come to the barbecue? We're barbecuing. Wow. Oh my god, look at all this food! What the heck? Oh, the dog went that way around. That's fine. That's cool, too. There's corn, and there's burgers, and there's dogs. Or maybe there's sausages. I'm not sure. There are hot dogs or sausages. Some what looks like it might be chicken, tomatoes, just two uncut, 
unsliced tomatoes just just there. Those look like they're more for decoration, but that's fine. That's all right. Oh my god, cute. Look at the barbecue. We're living our best life. We're living our best life. I think the dog went the long way around. Oh yeah, there he is. Hi! So you won't come in this way? You'll go, like, around? Hi! I like all the people just saying, hey -o. Nice to see a new face here. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Should I sit down again and let, let time pass? I don't know if I can. Oh, well, it's evening now anyway. I wasn't sure if they'd still be barbecuing during the evening time. I wanted to stay to see if anything changes. Are these beetle burgers? No, they're not beetles. Aww. Cute. I just want to stay and hang out at the barbecue. If I pet the dog again, he'll go back to his house. That's okay. So the kids aren't playing their hockey anymore. They went away. I don't think I have any petals. No, I don't. I will just color in the ground myself. JK, I won't because it won't stay. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't stay. And I'm not really sure, like, how to tell why. Oh, I still don't know how to get that pigment, actually. I've tried, like, I think I've tried going up here to get it. Saint Jean Baptiste Day, that's what it is. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I have to interact with something to, like, wheel the laundry in? There's a thing up here, maybe, that looks like it's the end of the laundry line. Oh, yeah. There we go. Puzzles. <laughs> I did it. Ah. I'm stuck. There we go. Dog's waiting for me. Hi! Don't tell Joey. He might get jealous. Should we go back to the barbecue? Problem solving skills. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've just been, uh, I've seen that one several times and I've just like not known how to get it. There we go. I got it. Cute. Wow. I know that I could be probably doing more with my time, but I just I'm, I'm hanging out at the community barbecue. I'm making friends with the neighbors. Wow. You want one of the big yellow caterpillars? What do you mean? Yeah, see, it's weird that that says um, Anna, but maybe they just changed the character's name and then just did, you know? I don't know. That's alright, though. Guys, you'll sit. Interesting. The time. I never really sat for that long. Every time I've sat down, it was kind of accidentally. <laughs> and then time would kind of just roll. I still haven't found the clover, also. Hmm. I feel like... The problem is that, like... Well, it's not a problem, but... Oh, false advertising. Oh, I don't know what that quest was for. And I also don't know what that's meant to be, but that's okay. That's alright, it'll tell us when we go do it. <laughs> if nothing else. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh right, not all of the gardens are like, have grass and stuff, so... They are probably less likely to have clovers in them, I feel. Unless it's not an actual clover, it's like a symbol of a clover somewhere. I feel like I'm kind of intruding. <laughs> on these two. Uh Sorry. The way, the way they're looking at me, oh my god. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like maybe, yeah, I don't, but I also don't know where there would be a symbol of a clover. Maybe in the school, because I thought about that earlier, like, that maybe it's like in the, in here, but I kind of colored most of this in. And I hadn't found one, so. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is. But that's alright. That's okay. Can we get over to those stairs somehow? Because I don't think we can get... 
Oh no, the day will end soon. Shoot. Wait, I wanted to go back to the barbecue. Oh, well, I think everyone's gone inside. I think everyone probably goes inside. I suspect. Wait, I lost the- oh, it's here. Oh no, they're still here. Oh, but the food's gone away. Oh no, that- that food's gone away. This food is still out? That's okay. I just wanted to see if anything else was going to change in the barbecue. Okay, that was probably not a good use of the pedal, but- oh, the cat's back up there. Hello! Oh, did you get stuck on a squirrel? A little bit. We'll pet the dog and send them back home. Yeah, at our, we're also going to head back home. The day is about to end, so... Back to the apartment. Neil. I was trying to see if I could make it in before the day ended. <laughs> I, not really, but that's okay. Alright, so yeah, I found all the subjects for false advertising. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. I mean, I know that it's one of our quests, but I don't know which quest or what symbol that was supposed to be. Um, but that's alright. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of commissions and quests that we that we could do. Um, hang on, I do just want to see really quickly what false advertising is, and also what that symbol was. False advertising. Oh, that's the four-leaf clover. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, got you. Good to know. Okay. Cool. Um, that's where we're gonna finish up uh, with Ete for for the day. Um, we'll head back to the main menu. We got some stuff done, though, and especially on the... Oh, I never made it back to the warehouse to see what that looked like. Oh, well, it's fine. Something for us to start with and look forward to next time. Um, but we made some decent progress, and particularly with the, like, main quest as well, which is good. Um, so, heck, yeah. Um, and, yeah, like I said, something for us to kick off with uh, when we come back to it. So nice. Hecaronis, that's a cool game. It is a very cool game. I agree. <laughs> 